Hello guys, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning wherever you're from. I was going to play some Eliminator today, so uh, I wanted to see if anybody was interested in joining me. And uh, yeah, hello Seiko, Mason Football, Yusuf, Abdullah is here as well, Cyber John, how's it going guys? Uh, Ryan is in here as well, Angus Rich, how's it going guys? How's your day been so far? Anybody been playing the Eliminator or not yet? I think I'm probably just gonna hop on. Maybe we can do a couple of uh, free for alls and uh, maybe we can do a uh, level two and a level three challenge like we did the last one. I think that one seems to go pretty well. Where everybody picks up a level two or a level three card before we start the final showdown. Seiko says I was in the city today. Nice. Yeah, it's been a. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful day outside actually, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to be streaming today. Uh, I do want to get outside yet and enjoy the nice warm sunshine, but uh, it's been a little bit since I streamed last, so I wanted to uh, see if anybody was up for maybe playing a couple of Eliminator games together. So uh, yeah, if anybody's interested, now is the time to load up your games and uh, join me. Ryan says you're streaming a little late for me today, so I'll probably join the next stream. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, it's early afternoon for me, but I understand that uh, for some people it's probably going to be more towards evening or nighttime. So, yeah, for some people it might be morning, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's going to be different times depending on where you're at in the world. Psycho says I'm probably going to join uh, game two. It's around eight here. Okay, I'm guessing you probably mean like eight in the evening. Angus says, definitely not a nice nighttime here in the UK. Oh, I see, what's going on? How's your, how's your day been so far, guys? Mason is asking, how long is the stream going to be on for? I'm not sure yet. Maybe, maybe about two hours or so. So probably a little bit shorter than the normal ones would be. But uh, yeah, I don't have a set time in place yet. So as far as the Eliminator, I'm probably going to load that up. It's 55 after for me right now. So let's take a look here. Yeah, it's 55 after right now. How about we start the first game at 57? 57 is gonna be first game. I'll just type that in chat here. Seiko says, I got a lovely pasta dish. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I just had lunch before, um, yeah, about two hours ago or so and uh, yeah, you gotta love good food, right? And uh, pasta is definitely up there. Pasta is definitely good stuff. Martin says, hello guys, how's it going? How's it going, Martin? Um, Ryan says, are you going to stream on, on Saturday like you usually do? Yeah, the reason I haven't been streaming on Saturdays lately is because of uh, the season that I'm in right now. It's kind of a busy season and um, so with everything that's going on, it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to know exactly if or when I'll be able to stream on Saturdays. So that's kind of why I figured I was going to do it today instead. But uh, yeah, the first game is going to be at 57 after. It looks like that's going to be in about a minute or so. Yeah, I just want to make sure I go off of my phone here. I think, because I remember back in the day there was a little bit of a discrepancy between the phone time and the computer time, so I want to make sure that this, uh, this is actually accurate. So we're going to do a free for all guys, and starting, it's going to start at 57, so that's probably going to be any second now. So if you have your game open and available, uh, feel free to load it up, or if you just want to watch, that feels, that's good too. 57, just rolled around. And I'm going to check out this spot again and see if there's going to be anything in this area. The, in my last video, well in today's video actually, I found a level 7 car here, so that was a pretty good start. I'll see if I can find something similar there today again as well. Uh, Martin says, it's almost bedtime here for me. Yeah, I, I would imagine for some people it definitely will be later, on the later side, more towards the evening and nighttime. But for me, it, it's still early afternoon, so I would imagine you're probably something like uh, 6, 7, maybe more hours ahead. But uh, yeah, depending on where you're joining from, it's going to be different times. But uh, wherever you're joining from, uh, it's, yeah, welcome all of you guys. And uh, hopefully maybe we can play together at least a little bit. Or even if you can't play, uh, even if you just want to watch, that, that's uh, totally fine as well. 
Uh, Coconut said, hi, Stardew. I didn't know there was going to be a live stream today. Glad there is. Yeah, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing where I kind of decided to do it last minute. I know I wasn't able to do one yesterday, and uh, I wanted to do another one soon. So I figured maybe today was going to work a little bit better than yesterday. So yeah, that's why I decided to do it today. But I'm not sure for how long I'll be able to stream. It might just be for a couple of hours. Maybe a little bit shorter than normal. Okay, it looks like there's a green level car. It looks like a level three. Yeah, it looks like a level three car. So I'm going to spawn there and uh, see if I can grab that for a starter. Coconut said, I'll play today. Perfect, sounds good. Forza, uh, Forza Nerd says, in Greece, it's 10 p.m. Okay, yeah, so you must be uh, seven hours ahead of me then. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I know that the time swings are gonna be pretty big depending on where you're at in the world. But uh, yeah, in North America here for me, it's, uh, it's right around uh, uh, 3 p.m. It's 8 p.m. in the UK, Coconut says. Okay, so you're five hours ahead of me then. So level three here, it looks like there's a lot of cars behind me. Is there a car off towards, there's a car off towards the left. I'm gonna try and go for this one first though, and maybe I can grab another one towards the left. Mark, I saw you in the lobby here already, so I know at least you're in the game, and I know there's a lot more cars off towards the left. There's a car right over there, but I'm gonna see what this one is first. So level three, and the races would actually go towards the right, which is a little bit surprising. Somebody's up to a level seven start, so that's a good start for somebody. I'm gonna challenge this guy here. The race should go off towards the left. Let's see if it does over there somewhere. Yes, it does. Is it on the road? Oh, it is. Perfect. So this is gonna, this is looking like a very good start. Um, Forza Nerd says, can I play with you? Absolutely, bud. Absolutely. And if you're not able to join this first game, I'm going to be playing multiple more games after this yet. So if you can't join this one, definitely feel free to join the next one. And I'll always put it in chat when the next game is going to be. So then, then you'll always know when you can uh, start the game. And then as long as we start the game together at the same time, then there is a high probability that we're going to be put into the same game or into the same match. How can I play with you? Yeah, it's going to be exactly like that. As soon as I, uh, as soon as the, my game is over and I'm about to start the next one, I'll put it in chat when the next game is going to start. And then from there, um, we just need to start at the same time. Let's say 05 might be the next game. Then we would both uh, queue up the game and start at 05. And if we start at the same time, then it's likely that we're going to be put into the same lobby as well. Okay, so first win here and Lancer. All right, I'll take this car. Random Boy says, I usually sleep in on Saturday morning. I didn't wake up until 12 p.m. because I am up all during the week with college and work. I hear you, man. Yeah, you can. It's, it's all about grabbing sleep when you can, right? And we all have different, uh, you know, if you, let's say you're working night shift or day shift or things like that, or you're going to school, then the, the hours are definitely going to be different for, uh, you know, depending on what circumstances you're in, right? So from here, it looks like I think the race is going to go straight. Is that a level? I don't think it's a level one. Is he waiting for me? I think he is. Is that a level? Oh, uh, you know what? I think it's a level two car, actually. The Audi. This is going to be very... That's actually going to be a tough win. I mean, if I... Assuming I would win. How about this? I'm not going to risk it too much right yet because the race is going to be going towards the right. So both of us would be going in the, in the right direction already. It's easier to win a race if you can snipe them going the wrong way. So let's do this. Maybe I can uh, snipe somebody that's coming from up ahead of me, and then the race would go straight. It's showing on the mini map there's, there's three cars behind me. That guy off towards my left is already in a race with somebody else. Forza Nerd says the RS6 is broken. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a level two car, but in reality, well, it's labeled as a level two car, but it's definitely closer to something like a level five, for example. And if you guys have uh, Forza Horizon 4, then you probably know that in Horizon 4, the Audi RS6 is actually a level 5 car. And I don't think they made big changes to that car from Horizon 4 to Horizon 5. So based on how good it is, I still think it should be a level 5 car again. Okay, we got so we got two cars coming this way. Oh, I don't want to get sniped here by that guy. No, did he snipe me? Oh, I don't know if he challenged me or not. I thought for sure I was going to get challenged there. I would have lost, definitely lost that. I was going the wrong way. Okay, maybe I can challenge this guy here. Oh, it's kick up kid. Sorry, bud. I did not know it was going to be you. Right as I challenged you, I saw that it was going to be you. Um, 
Jason, uh, Jesse West says, Strider with you usually stream on Sunday, midday for me, but today it's on a Sunday and almost at 9 p.m. for me. Yeah, that's going to be... I know it definitely makes it more difficult for some people later on in the day. Like, for me, it's still early. It's around... Uh, it's early afternoon for me. But I know if you're... Let's say you live in, in Europe or some other places like that, um, you can probably be like six or seven hours ahead of me and then it is it would be later on in the day. But yeah, I've, I've tried streaming at different times, like um, Eastern Standard Time, maybe like 7 a.m. I've tried, I think, 8 or maybe 9 a.m. So depending on where you're at, it's going to be different times. And sorry I had to do this, bud. Uh, kick up, kid. I know that you were in the lobby and I... I wasn't expecting that car to be you. I do a lot of blind challenges. I have no idea who I'm going to be racing until I actually challenge them, and this one just happened to be you. But yeah, right now it is it is a free-for-all, so it's kind of like uh, every man for himself. And there's another car right here. Oh, look, there's two cars over here. Oh, they just raced each other, so it's a level 6 Chola. I'm not going to grab that car drop. But yeah, if you get eliminated this game, definitely feel free to keep watching or and or join me in the next game. As soon as I get eliminated, I usually plan the next game for about two minutes after that. Mark the Pug is in the level 8 GTR. Well, well, that's really good. Oh no, is this, I think this is him. Oh no, it's not actually. I'm surprised. Okay. No, 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 no. I knew that was going to do it. I knew that was going to do it. Ah... Uh, I thought for sure that was going to be Mark the Pug, because he also had a GTR. <clears throat> that tree really messed me up as well. I don't think I have a chance though, not against a, not against a, a fast level 8 like this. Arena. Unless he makes a huge, huge mistake, I don't think there's any coming back from this. I'm not the biggest fan of the Bronco to begin with, it's not very quick. But... It all depends on how you set up the race. If you can set up the race properly, then you can still win with the Bronco. But for level 5, it's definitely not the quickest. Yeah, and there it is. First game, 17 of 44, so I made it about halfway through. I'll try again and see if I can do better next time. Martin Zed says, no chance against the Nissan. Yeah, absolutely, bud. That was, uh, that was always going to be a tough one to win. I wasn't expecting to win that one. And especially after hitting that tree, I figured it wasn't going to work. In the meantime, I got a gift from Carlos. Oh, it's right next to me here. Let's actually go check this out. So it should be right, right over here. And I, put, I completed some kind of a challenge apparently. Last but not least challenge. Let's see what they give me here. Hopefully it's gonna be a good car. Let's find out. Have you found it? Don't move. I'm coming. Wow, that's generous. Well, just the spirit <coughs> of the horizon, isn't it? Should All right, let's see you? what this is. Moment of truth, what, is, what kind of car is this? Interesting. 2019 BMW Z4 Roadster. That's really good. What should I say? I really like the car. Let's do that one. I really like the car. We'll add that. <clears throat> And let's take a look here. It's 06 right now. How about we go with uh, 08? We'll go with 08 next game. Yeah, it is a nice car, definitely. How about I drive it, actually? So it was a BMW Z4. Let's see if I can find it here. BMW. Oh, look, I actually have. <laughs> look at this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I've actually got six of them, and I think they're all, none of them are modified. They're all stock. So let's actually drive this car. Angus Rich says, uh, the BMW you're using was my main car for ages when I first started playing the game. Haven't driven it in a long time. Interesting. Okay, yeah, this this actually looks pretty cool. Let me let me get out into the open here. Like, look at this. I think it looks really sleek. Yeah, like this. I'll zoom out a little bit. It looks like a very sleek car. Very very modern. 2019. Let's go with the interior view. Look at this. 
the dash on the inside, that's an interesting speedometer. I don't know if I've ever seen... That's very unique, actually. I don't think I've ever seen the inside of this car before in this game. Yeah, a nice little roadster, though. Catch some, uh, catch some air while I'm driving down the highway. Okay, I said 08 was going to be the next game, and it's already... Hold on. I'm queuing in now. I started a little bit late. Yeah, coconuts, yeah, you just said the warning. I think I missed it by a couple seconds. I hope it's not going to make too much of a difference. I'm going to park over here in the meantime and get ready. Uh, coconuts, I already started for 09, I mean for 08, so I think it's going to have to be okay. I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to spawn in with, uh, with some of you guys. Uh, Sego says, Strider, do you know about my story I told you in Xbox messaging yesterday? Yeah, you found some really good cars there lately, eh? That was a really good uh, find you had. Plus the, uh, um, yeah, that was interesting. It's it's always a big bonus, and that's kind of something that I want to do as well. I want to see what kind of uh, car I can find, like the best car that I can find on stream. I think so far it's probably been about a level 7 or so. Um, let's see what I can find today, though. Maybe... Maybe I'll find a purple level car today. That would be a big bonus. That's that's the goal, guys. Uh, find a purple level car for the stream today. Let's see if I can make it happen. The level 10 versus level 1 thing. Yeah, I definitely remember that. You were very close to winning that. That would have been a huge, huge boost if you would have gotten that, though. But it's definitely very tough. But it, it is still possible. And uh, if you get if you try that a couple more times, who knows? You might just win one of those. Yeah, you did almost win it, yeah. Uh, Martin says, I found a lot of good car drops on the east uh, coast side. Yes, I hear ya. Um, I usually do spawn either center or towards the east. There is a car right next to me right now. I don't know what it is yet. I can hear music, though. I'm hoping it's going to be good. Let's find out. Moment of truth. It's, okay, there's actually two cars here. What is this car here? Oh, wow, wow. All right, let's go, let's go. This is a fantastic start. And there's somebody right next to me already. Oh, it's Seiko. You know what, buddy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you be. This time I'm gonna be a little bit more, more deliberate about, uh, I'll challenge this guy instead. I have no idea who I'm challenging. And the race should go straight. Arena. Yeah, so okay. we're outside of the arena right now. And yeah, so oh, it's basically right on the highway. So this should be an easy win. Forza Nerd says, can you do a shout out to my channel, please? Absolutely. Um, guys, feel free to check out Forza Nerd's content. I'm, I'm guessing you probably have uh, Forza content as well, maybe Eliminator content. I know there's a lot of different Forza channels on YouTube, so... I mean, for me, oh, look at that. <laughs> He's doing like a donut. He's doing like a burnout on the on the road there. Interesting. There's a lot of cars back there. I might actually turn around and uh, see if I can go back that way. I don't see anybody else to the wards the left or the right. Oh, look, there's actually one car ahead of me, though, up this way. Let's see what I can, what I can do if I can find this guy here. I'm in a level 6, so I'm going to upgrade to a level 7 first. Porsche Cayenne. Mason says, can you do a shout out about my channel? Absolutely. Yeah, Mason, I've checked out your channel before. You've got some pretty good stuff uh, with uh, football. If you're into, oh, this guy's coming this way. If you're into, I mean, North America, we call it soccer, but I know in most other places around the world, they call it football. Hey, Seiko, how's it going? And uh, yeah, uh, Mason football skills is a very skilled uh, footballer. You got, you got some very good accuracy shots in the videos that I was watching. You're very good. Oh, look, there's a, there's a, there's a guy right over here towards the left. I don't know who it is. I'll challenge him. The video should go straight from the video. The race should go straight from here. Yes, it does. Uh, between the trees here and just on the other side of the highway. All right, maximum focus here. He's not that far behind me. And I always think like that, uh, that BMW is another car that I would say is, it's fa- oh, where's the highway? I was going to say, it's faster than the, the level that it's in. Like it could, I think it could easily be a level five car, just on how fast it is and how stable it is. But uh, yeah, I really like it. Anytime I get to choose that as a level four car, I'm always happy to take it. 
Okay. Careful here. No, 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 not good, not good. Oh, look at that. Watch him go right around the trees and just beat me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Oh, it's actually farther down than I thought, but still. Oh, he's still going to beat me. I made it way too hard on myself. Yeah, I've lost this one, guys. I threw that one away. I definitely threw that one away. Oh, man, that's a big fail. That's a fail right there. I thought it was going to be... Let's take a look here on the map. I thought it was going to be... Where was it? Where did I crash? Right over here. Yeah, I thought it would be like right on the highway over here. That's why I was going across the trees this way. If I would have known that it was here, I would have just gone right around it all. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, that one hurts a little bit. That one definitely hurts. You never want to lose against a car that's in a lower level than you, but... That's the Eliminator. It often happens, too. Uh, let's take a look. We are at 14 after right now. Let's go with 16 next game. I'll put this in chat here. Uh, G-Man says, evening all. May try to join you if I don't crash the game. Absolutely. We'll be happy to have you, bud. It's kind of a spur of the moment type of thing where I decided to stream last minute. And I was wondering if I should stream today since I didn't do it yesterday. So um, if you guys are able to join or if you're interested in joining, definitely join. I'll be happy to have uh, anybody that wants to play. I'll be happy to play with you guys. Alex Gaming says, I can't join. If you can't join the game, uh, you can also uh, just feel free to hang out and uh, chat if you want to, or just watch in chat as well. Watch me uh, just play as well. And uh, yeah, that way uh, we can still all hang out together and uh, that can still be fun. Um, Jesse was as well I was away from watching your content. I beat a level 9 Fiesta in a level 3 Hyundai. That's a great, fantastic win. That's a really good job. Congrats. Yeah, we're at 15 after right now. So 16 after is going to be any, any second now. I just want to see if I can make it to the Horizon Festival site before the next game starts. My car is not particularly fast, <laughs> but hopefully I can I can make it there in time. This car is like flat out right now, and I'm not sure if I'll make it there in time. I'm really hurrying though. Go, 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 go. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm here now. I just need to make sure I park and... Make sure I can actually see what's going on in the festival site before I actually decide to spawn here or not. Oh uh, yeah, hold on, 16 I think is going to roll around any second now. We're 15 after, any second here guys, get ready, get ready for it. 16, there it is, alright, let's do it. So, night time for me. Uh, Forza Nerd is asking, what's your favorite car in Forza and why? Uh, I, don't, I don't even, I'm not sure that I have a favorite car. There's a lot of really good cars that I like, but I'm not sure if I have a favorite car. I like, you know, Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Koenigseggs and, um, there's so many cool cars. It's, it's very hard to pick the absolute best one. Skill off. Hey, Strider. How's it going, bud? Thanks for hopping on the stream. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just loading into my third game. I haven't had too much success with the first two. In the last game, I lost against a level four in a level seven car. <laughs> I definitely messed that one up. But I'm trying again here. Let's see if let's see if the fact that it's gonna that uh, the races are gonna be at night, maybe that's gonna make some kind of a difference. So there's nothing in this area. That means I'm probably gonna go to my default position and uh, either there or here. Let's try, let's try the bridge this time. Alex Gaming says, what is your time strider? For me, it's, it's early afternoon. So it's like uh, 3 p.m., 3.17 p.m. for me over here. Promo says, hi, how's it going, bud? Glad you can make it for the stream. Thanks for joining. We're just queuing into the next game here now. I don't see anything behind me. I mean, I don't hear any music, so I don't think there's gonna be any car drops near me. I'm gonna have to check the left and right side, see if I can find something. I don't see anything on the right side. Let's take a quick look. 
Yeah, how about on the left side? There is a car way off on the left side over there. G-Man's in here, Mark the Pug is in here, very nice. I'm glad to see a couple of you guys are able to make it in. I don't see anybody on the mini-map going this way yet, so maybe I'll have a chance to actually get this car first. I am, oh look, there's another one over there as well. So there's actually a couple of cars. Wilder Man is in here as well, Random Boy is in here, very nice, very nice. Glad to see you guys can make it in. Hopefully this is going to be good. Audi, this is actually not bad. The level 2, that's actually a level 5. <laughs> Kick Up Kid is actually in here as well. Alright, so that's at least like 5 of you guys that were able to make it into this uh, into this game. That's very nice. There was a car back here. A car dropped back here. And how far am I? Whoa, look at this. I'm way outside of the arena. So I'm going to just quickly look at this car drop here. And then, oh look, it just got taken. Oh, I think my Kick Up Kid. I think Kick Up Kid grabbed that. I'm pretty sure this is Kick Up Kid right over here. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. Oh, he challenged me. Let's go, let's go. Is it on the highway? Oh, let's go. <laughs> is it on the road? Okay, it's actually not on the road. So now it's going to be a race between a level 2 and a level 5. And it, dep it depends on the type of terrain that we're going to be on, but I'm pretty sure, even though that this is a level 2, this car still has a significantly higher top speed than uh, that level 5, which is interesting. Like this, this should be a level 5 car for sure. But for some reason, it's a level 2 in Horizon, Horizon 5. Let's go, let's go. Alex says, can you do a live stream at 7 p.m. It's your time so I can play with you in the Eliminator? I probably would be able to do that sometime. Um, some people in here have mentioned that it's already like uh, 8 or 9 p.m. for them. Like in the UK, somebody was mentioning it's it's 8 p.m. So I know some of you guys are way ahead, like uh, time-wise, you're multiple hours ahead. So if I did do it at 7, then it would be it would be like midnight or like early morning for them. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably try a couple of different times and see what, what works best for most people. So far it seems like if I do it early morning, let's say like 8 a.m. Eastern Standard or something like that, that seems to work well for a lot of people. So I've been kind of uh, playing it more towards the early side. Like what I'm doing right now has probably been the latest time in the day that I've actually tried to do the Eliminator. There's a couple of cars still out towards the left over there. Uh, just say what it says, Strider, what would you prefer, R6 swapped with the F-150 or R6 spawned with the Mini? Sorry, I wasn't even watching where I was going. Spawned with the Mini. R6 swapped with the F-150 or R6 spawned with the Mini JC. I wouldn't take the Mini JCW. Um, I would definitely keep the R6 over that car. The only reason that I would grab uh, a... Uh, a buggy would be if it's early game and I know that the most of the cars are still level one then you still have a chance at victory but if it's like uh, mid game or late game then the buggy is it's too easily outmatched like there's too many cars that are faster than it but as far as swapping the RS6 for an F-150 that's also a very close call because I do think of the RS6 as a level five so you really I would be looking at it at it as uh, you're swapping one level five car for another level five car and between the RS6 and the F-150, if you went by pure performance, I would pick the RS6. Even though the F-150 is like three levels higher than it. Let's see what kind of car drop we have here. Level three? Okay, I'm not going to take that. Also, I meant by swapping their levels, not the cars themselves. Yeah, the levels... As far as swapping levels, I look at... Oh, look, we got a car here on the right. The levels really determines, like if I'm in the late game, I'm not looking for the level of the car. If I'm in the late game, I'm looking for the best performance car. So whether that is a level 2 RS6 or that's a, a, you know, a higher level car, I'm looking for performance because performance is what's going to win you races. But in the early game, um, you can get away with uh, going based off of levels instead because, yeah, levels is what gets you to like a level you know, 10 in the end, you know what I mean? Like it gets you there faster. I'm going to challenge this guy, and let's see where it's going to go. It's going to go towards the right. Okay, let's see if I can... 
I'm gonna go around everything here for a little bit. Let's see if he's gonna take a right hand turn right away. Or if he's gonna follow me. What do we got? A Carrera level two over there. Uh, Car Christ, uh, cartoon says you are chasing me. Oh, bud, is that you? Sorry, I had no idea that was you. Yeah, I, on the on the other side though, we do have. Whoa, I don't know how. I should have crashed that. Yeah, I I don't remember everybody's gamer tag, but on the other hand as well, it is uh, right now it is still a free for all. So I'm kind of. I like racing most of you guys in the final showdown, but sometimes I'll do blind challenges like I did with Kick Up Kid before. I, had, I think it was Kick Up Kid before in my first game. I had no idea it was him, and then I challenged him. But then in the next game, I knew that it was Seiko, so I didn't challenge him, even though we could have raced, but I think most of the fun comes from being able to win in the final showdown. But even if we can do side races like this, this is still a lot of fun. I still enjoy racing you guys. And I know you guys can, you have to beat me as well, so uh, I have no problem with that. <laughs> oh, crashed into here. Uh, True Scott says there is a cheater, take care. Interesting, what is the name of the cheater? Uh, I see what I was asking what the name of the cheater is. I'm so far, I'm, I'll take a, I'll keep a closer eye on the mini map. Right now, everything seems to be normal. Just see what says there is a cheater in the session. Proceed with caution. I'll keep a, I'll definitely keep a, a sharp lookout. I know we've met cheaters in the Eliminator before on a live stream. I think that's only happened once, maybe twice. But yeah, this uh, this terrain that we're in right now, this open terrain, makes it very easy for the for speed uh, boosting cheaters to just fly across the map. If we were out back there, let's say in the forest, for example, then the trees would actually help to stop the cheater. But in these circumstances, it's very tough to win against a cheater. What cheats are they using? I'm not sure what, but I'm guessing most likely, often, most of them seem to be uh, speed, yeah, like speed boosts or like uh, flying through the air, speed hacks. Those seem to be the most common ones. This guy over here is in a race with somebody. A level eight. Panda, okay. Let's go see if I can find my next opponent. There's one car up this way. There's two cars. Wait. Is he coming this way? Is that a cheater? Or is that... It is a level 9 car. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll, we'll probably see it later on in the game. There is a car that went this way. Look, he's right back here. G-Man is up to a level 8 pro truck. Oh look, there's two cars there. They just raced each other, so I can't race them. Okay, how about we go this way then? Maybe I can snipe somebody that's coming down the road this way. A couple of cars off in a race that way. Oh, these two guys are very close on the mini map ahead of me. This race is probably going to be done soon. Maybe I can I can uh, race the winner. I'm going to stay back a little bit more so that when they actually upgrade. Oh, did he just beat you, Seikos? It looks like somebody just beat you. Maybe that, that was exactly this car here. They're just upgrading to a level eight. Oh, I just missed it, I just missed it. That would have been the perfect snipe. Another snipe here. Oh, it's a level 10. Go, 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 the race should go straight. Did he crash into the rocks? I think that level 10 uh, must have crashed into the rocks there. I did see that rock pile that I was hoping. He was going to get Arena. caught up in it. Go, 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 go. I, I feel like my car is so slow right now. I got to go around these things here first. No, no, slow down. Now go right, go, 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 go. Guys, I think I've got this. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Be to level 10. Okay, that kind of makes up for losing to uh, level 4 to level 7 before. All right. Let's take the level 10. Jay Stewart says, go, go, I7, you can do this. Yeah, I was actually able to pull it off somehow. The next car, now that I have, oh, G-Man just got eliminated by the Lamborghini. G-Man, I'm gonna try and uh, get that guy for you if I can. Let's get onto the road over here first. 
Was there... Was there somebody available to race over here? We're down to the final 10 at this point, and all the races are going to be going towards the right. The Iris, was that the cheater? I'm not sure. I don't think it was... I'm not sure. I don't think it was the guy, the guy that I was racing. If it was, he at least wasn't using speed, uh, speed hacks, so I couldn't tell based on that. Um, look at that. We still have nine more cars. It looks like... How far am I? I'm pretty much at the bottom of the map right now. David said, let's go, friend. Absolutely, let's do it. And from here, the next car, if I do win the next race, they're going to give me a level, a level 10 Funko. Look, there's somebody directly ahead of me right here. Let's see if I can chase this guy. It looks like a level 9. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a level 9 car. And... Hmm, I don't know if I want to... Wait, is that a level 9 or is that a level 10? Let's see if I can lure him this way. I want to... I wanna... Ideally, I want to smite my opponent. I don't want to make it a fair race. Let's see if he's going to come this way. Okay, I'll challenge him now. The race should go straight. Oh, this is F combat. I think this is the... Is this the same guy that beat you, G-Man? I think it is. So if I can beat this guy here, G-Man, then... Uh, I've avenged you. <laughs> but I know there's rocks down here that I want to avoid. There you go, guys. I think that was the guy, and I'm not sure, he might have he might have also been the guy that beat Seiko before. So if that's the case, then uh, I'm happy to have won here. All right, it's Funko time. G-Man says nice, yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that always feels good if you can beat people that uh, beat your arena. friends. So we're shrinking down to the final arena right now, and we have six drivers left. What do we have? A level five Bronco and a level five Buggy. Another, uh, there's a low level car. What's he racing over here? Another low level car. Interesting. So we have a level five and a level four back there. So he's only going to upgrade to like a level six car then. I'm going to set up for the final showdown already. It's going to go... Whoa, this guy just came into the arena just in time, right here. I'll challenge him just for fun. It's complete. For the final showdown, what do we have here? Oh, look at this. Hey, bud. My friend Walden there. How's it going, bud? It's been a minute. I'm glad to see you guys. Uh, Robic Brood, is, are you also in chat here? Let's do this. You know what? Win or lose, this is going to be a great race. Seven, six, five, four, two, one, go. Let's do it, bud. Yeah, me and Walderman have had some good races in the past before. Oh, off towards the right. And this is very... Uh, I was, I was going to say it's, it's got some... It's very hilly terrain. Oh, you know what? I think it's a low-level car. A low-level car must have pulled the finish line, I think, for the finish line to go in this direction. Oh, this is not a good location that I'm on right now. This is very hilly. Because there's a, there's a road all the way at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like the cars are down there. If you look on the minimap, guys, there's two cars down on the bottom there, including probably a low-level car, which is probably the reason that I went this way. So I'm in third place. I just need to get this car to settle down. All right, 2.3 kilometers to go. Oh, it's, somebody's already basically at the finish line. Big jump. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Can I jump to the finish line? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Look, I can't get out of here. Look at this. I'm just hanging out with these guys now. You know what? There's no way I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm basically stuck here. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's too funny. Congrats, Walden, man. I'm glad you were able to win. I basically jumped right into a house, and then I got stuck in the gate here, and there was no way I couldn't back out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, let's see. Four eliminations. Made it to the top three, though. Yeah, that was some jump. That would have been an epic, yeah, like uh, G-Man is saying, that would have been an epic YOLO. If I would have actually cleared those houses and landed on the finish line, that would have been, like, one of my top... That would, yeah, definitely. 
That would have gone in the recap file right there. That was... Yeah, that would have been one for the highlights, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I was a little bit short. Now I don't know if I... I'm st I think I'm still stuck, though. Okay, let's see if I can make it out of here. Yeah, I'm basically still stuck. Is there a way to get through this? Okay, I can get through there. Nope, nothing there. Um, let's take a look. What can I go through? Oh, look at this! I can go through the walls here. Yeah, see, look at this. You know what? Let's actually take a look here. What are they making for supper? <laughs> you can look like straight into their house. Uh, I want to see if there's an, if there's an opening here somewhere. How, how does this work? Oh, I can't go through here. You know what? I might as well put my car in the pool then. You know what? I'm officially stuck. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> look at this. My car is bouncing now. Oh, just by, by itself, basically. Anyways, let's go with, uh, it's 33 after right now. Let's go with 35 for the next game, guys. I'll just put this in chat here. 35. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting out of this. Let's take a look here real quick. Yeah, I'm basically stuck. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to have to teleport myself here. Um, let's go to here and then just fast travel that way. That'll get me out of the pool anyways. Uh, Mason is asking next game. So next game is going to be 35. So the numbers that I put in chat, those are the start uh, starting times for the next game. So that should be in about a minute from now. Just just under a minute from now. So I'm going to park here already. I'm wondering if I have enough time to quickly switch to a different car. I've been driving this one for a little bit now. Uh, if I switch to something like this, this is a really good off-road car. Hopefully I'm gonna get it delivered in time for me to start the... Oh, that was actually really quick. Yeah, this thing, if you guys remember this car, this car is an absolute beast in the Horizon, uh, in the Horizon 4 Eliminator. I think in Horizon 4 it's actually, it's actually a, uh, it's a level seven, but uh, okay, 35 just rolled around. It's classified as a level 7, but performance-wise, this thing is, it, would, it should technically be a level 10. Like, this is as good, if not better, than a lot of level 10 cars. And it's too bad this car wasn't in the Eliminator, though. This is a super epic off-road car. It'd be very hard to get this thing stuck. Seiko's saying it's a level 7 in Horizon 4. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a level 7 in Horizon 4, and uh, I remember... Um, sometimes if, if I had to choose between some of the level 10s they gave me and then this car, this car would still be better. <clears throat> okay, so starting soon, let's take a look. I don't see anything, I don't hear any music, so I don't think there's going to be any car drops in this area. Um, you know what, I'm going to try back here again. I found one level 6 car there already and that's been the best car that I started with so far. Maybe I can find another good car there again. <clears throat> David123 says, I have been your subscriber for a long time. I appreciate it, David. Thank you very much for the support. I know a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel and I really appreciate it. So thank you, all of you guys. All right, start of the game. There's a car drop right over there. Let's go see what that is. I'm thinking somebody's probably gonna beat me to it though. I have a feeling. I know they're Audi RS6, so that's the second one already. Yeah, somebody did just get it. I think it was Seiko actually. But there's another one down the road. Let's see what this is. I'm pretty sure that's Seiko back there. Nothing towards the right. Let's see what this is. Level three Audi Quattro, I'll take it. Kick up kid is in here, Mark's in here. All right. Yeah, just now it says cars like the Quartz, Regalia, and the Warthog are extremely OP due to their insane performance and acceleration. Absolutely, absolutely. Ah, uh, no, why did I do that? Sorry, bud. It's just instinct for me. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I feel like if I'm in a fast car or if I'm in a slow car, if I, if I see an opponent near me, I have to challenge them and then I, I, you know what, I honk for like no reason at all. <laughs> uh, one, sometimes it would be better left just to, you know, get a better setup or, or something. Like I crashed into Seiko right there, so that's already not an ideal start. But at the same time, it would be better to race your your friends in the final showdown, right? 
But so far it's still free for all, so um, yeah, it's whatever, it's however far you can get. So definitely, uh, you know, friends or uh, people that you don't know, I, I like to I like to race them all. So one kilometer, can I still win? I think if Seika was facing the right way, he would have very likely won. His car is better than mine. But somehow, I'm in the lead. I think because I was facing the right way, that's about the only reason that I'm ahead here, guys. GG Seiko, that was a good race. Hopefully we can race again soon. Or, yeah, like in the next game. Alright, so that's gonna be me up to a level 4. And I think I'm still outside of the arena. Yeah, oh, look at this, guys. You know what, let's do this. I'll grab his car. His car is better, but then with his car, I can race faster cars. Let's see, okay, I'm not that far out of the arena yet. And we have one car behind me and two cars in front of me. Let's get on to the highway here. Uh, Hamza says, I'm in the game, gamer tag, mighty meerkat. Gotcha, okay. Good to see, maybe we can, maybe we can race each other. Uh, 1v1 or maybe in the final showdown. And it looks like daylight is coming back, so that's uh, that's good to see. I do prefer racing in the daylight compared to at night. And this guy's right, right on the other side here. The race will go straight. Okay, so he challenges me and the race should go straight from here. Yes, it does. Let's get on the road here. My car does have better top speed. Gus Rich is up to a level 7 AMG, very nice. Let's go, let's go. No car drops on the left. The arena is shrinking, and as soon as it does, we're going to be getting a lot new, a lot of uh, new cars in here. But right now, I've still got a nice little lead on them. I don't think I'm going to take his car, though. I'm probably just going to keep my car. And then... <clears throat> excuse me. And then I'm probably just going to try to upgrade with car drops or by beating faster cars like level 5 or higher. Oh, you know what? I'm hoping this isn't going to end in a disaster like the other one did where I crashed into a tree right near the finish line. Oh, this is tricky. I don't like this. Go, 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 go. He's right there. He basically just... He found a fantastic route through. Very nearly won as well. Okay, I'm not going to be able... I don't want to take his car. I just want to look for some of these other cars that are around here. And see if I can upgrade with that. There's at least two cars up here. The races would go towards the right if one of these two guys challenges me. Are they going to race each other? Nope, he actually grabbed this car. It looks like that was a level 3 as well. That guy ahead of me is a level 4. I would like to upgrade to at least a level 5 or higher before I give up this car. Cyber John is in here as well. Very nice. And, okay, let's check out what this car is here. You know what? I don't think that's going to be a good car because this guy went right through it. Yeah, oh, so it's another Audi. So basically the same thing I already have. There's one car here and another one farther ahead. But this guy on the main map, he left that car. So that might be, that might be because it's not a fast car to begin with. Is he chasing me? Is he going to race me? He's right behind me. He could have easily challenged me there if he had wanted to. Another level 2 car, yeah, still not, still not very good. I would like to either race a level 5 or higher, or upgrade to a level 5 or higher. And, uh, we've got two more car drops to check here. Another level 2. How about this one? Another level 2. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna take the Audi again. You know what, I'll challenge this guy just for the fun of it. I think it's gonna go... No, I guess completely wrong. Okay, that really hurts me, actually. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to come back from this or not. Wait, what? Did he get stuck? My opponent, what's he doing? Arena, Hasty gem. I'm wondering if he got stuck there, back there, or maybe he was following what I was doing. Okay, this is looking good so far. I thought for sure, because I think he was facing the right way already, and I was turning towards the left. So if he would have kept going straight, I think he would have been uh, he would have been well ahead of me already at that point. 
Okay, there's a road down here. What kind of car drop is that? A level 3 Macan? I'll pass on that. Okay, this is a tricky area here. Level 6 Chola? I wouldn't mind racing that. That would be a nice little upgrade. Alright, between these two houses, hopefully I don't hit them. Very nice. And across the line we go. But again, that's only going to bump me up to a level 3. Let's see, maybe I can snipe a faster car. Look, there's a car down there that's coming this way. What is it? Is it a level 2? I don't really want to race a lower level car because the upgrade potential is usually not worth it. Uh, no, no, it's Gus Rich. He's going to challenge me. I'm going to lose this. I'm definitely going to lose this. I was hoping to get a better start than that. Yeah, guys, this is where my race comes to an end. Unless he makes a huge mistake, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this one off. Maybe the trees are going to work in my favor somehow, but this, this is not looking good. Yeah, the setup that I had was probably not as good as I thought. <laughs> no, wait, what? Why? Is he giving me his car? That's not... That's not hardly fair for me. Yeah. Gus, are you sure about this, bud? This is, this is definitely your win. If you want this, you, you beat me fair and square. I think he... Are you sure? Thank you, Gus. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Yeah, much appreciated, Gus. Wow. I... I feel like I don't even deserve this car. I mean, here I have a level 8. I should have lost that 100%. Well, guys, I'm going to try and win this for you if I can. There's a level 6 over here. I'm going to try and get this, uh, get this win for Gus Rich if I can. It's right over... I don't know who it is. Okay, he challenges me. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think I've got this. This is going to be me up to a level 9. As long as it's not the Trackhawk, I think I'm going to have a good... I'll be happy with mostly anything else. Uh, Gareth, yeah, G-Man says, Gus, absolutely. And don't forget, G-Man, I remember what you did. I still... I don't think I'll ever forget that. Uh, you guys have probably seen it. I think I made a short about it back in the day, a YouTube short, but uh, G-Man basically, I think I was in a level 4. Yeah, level 4 Mitsubishi, I remember it. And he found a level 10 Funko right at the start of the game, and he challenged me and let me win. And then I went on to win that game. I think I was, I, I think I did like a last to first race there, but uh, yeah, G-Man, I don't think I'm ever going to forget that one. And I know there's other... Uh, some others uh, among you have also been very generous in giving me cars and wait we got we got another fast car waiting for me here I gotta be careful how to set this up I appreciate all of it yeah you guys definitely you know definitely don't feel obligated to do it but anytime that it does happen I very much appreciate it is this guy coming this way <laughs> I want to see if I can somehow I want to see if I can somehow uh, Oh, I'm gonna get challenged here. I didn't even notice this guy behind me. No, 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 no. Unless it goes towards the right. Oh, it's not gonna go towards the right. I was so focused on the GTR ahead of me that I didn't notice this other guy behind me. That was just sneaking up on me. Gus, if I lose this, I'm gonna... I am very sorry. I was not paying attention the way I should have been. Unless he messes up. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Gus, that was my fault. That was 100% my fault. <sighs> that's uh, that's too bad. That is too bad. I was too focused on the Nissan GTR ahead of me and trying to set up a snipe on him, and then I got sniped in the back by this guy instead. Uh, such is such is the Eliminator. Such is life, as they say. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Nacho GL, hi guys, how's it going, bud? Thanks for joining the stream. We're still early with the game, so if you want to load up the game and uh, join us, definitely feel free to do so. Uh, Angus Rich says, "Don't worry about it. We're here for the stream." I appreciate it, Angus. Yeah, I do try to, I do try to win, but it just kind of goes to show, like, 
um, I lose a lot too, guys. Like I, I'm not, I don't win like you know game after game after game. I'm, you know what? I probably lose just as often, if not more often, than a lot of you guys do. So, and you can see that with the stream, you can see that, right? Like I, what is this? My third or fourth game? Fourth game, and I haven't won yet. Made it to the final showdown once, finished third. And then I got stuck in the house. <laughs> uh, but you know what? The Eliminator is still fun. And uh, what can I say, right? If you enjoy it, that's the main thing. Uh, let's go with, uh, we're at 48 after right now. Let's go with 50. 50 is going to be next game. I'll just type that in chat here. 50 is next game. And I'm going to position myself or fast travel to the festival site already. I usually do travel there at the beginning of the match just to see, just in case, there might be a good car because the festival site has at least four possible locations uh, for a good car drop. So that's why I like starting here first. But if there's nothing here, then I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to go to like backup locations. So we're at 48 after. How about we go to a different car here? What should I drive here, guys? Any recommendations? Should I drive like a, a, a normal classic, like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, or pick something completely different? Uh, let's see, what can I get here? So I was driving this BMW before. Um, how about how about the Isetta? This would be hilarious, actually. Let's drive the Isetta just for fun. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be so slow, but hey, you know what? It could be fun. I don't know if I've ever... If I've driven this car, it's probably been like once or twice. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. Wow, this is such a small car. And I think it, it actually opens from the front, like the doors of the front. So 49 after, 50 is going to roll around any second here, so get ready for it. Maybe I'll upgrade this car after after the next race. I'll upgrade and see how much I can actually tune it. See how fast we can actually get this thing. So 49 after, 50 should roll around at any second. 50 just rolled around. <clears throat> Seiko is asking Strider if there was a level zero, what car would it be? Honestly, it probably would be this. <laughs> I'm guessing it probably should be this car right here. And then just in stock, uh, like imagine if they kept it with no modifications. Just the way it is now, it would be a very slow car indeed. Uh, Promo says the Isetta is so fun. Yeah, I think what I'm going to try and do after this uh, next game, I'm going to try and modify it. And uh, see how fast we can get this thing. Regard from Mexico, David says. And best regards from Canada, David. Thank you for joining the stream. Aqua Genesis says, I think I'm in. Very nice. From slow to fast promo. Absolutely. That's going to be the goal. See if I can do it. Starting soon. I think I should be in in any second. All right. Any car drops here? No, I don't see anything here. Should I change it up, guys, or go back to my tried and true default position? No, it's, you know what? Let's go with the bridge again. With the bridge, uh, I like the vantage view, the vantage point that I have, the view that I can get from there. I can look towards the left and the right, and I'm wondering if the game just crashed. You know, we got to get at least one crash, it seems like, every stream. And I'm wondering if that just happened here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it crashed, guys. Uh, what can I say? It's almost... It's basically expected at this point, <laughs> it seems like. I'm just going to have to load it back up. Nothing I can do about it. Loading up the game now. Right at the start of the game, too. Usually, the, it's, the game at least waits until I finish the game before it crashes. <laughs> uh, this time, I did it right before I joined it. All right. No worries. It should take about a minute or so, though, before, or maybe a little bit longer before it's actually booted back up. So I'm just loading it up in the background right now. says crash counter one yeah absolutely <laughs> so far it hasn't crashed more than once per stream but i think so far it's crashed at least once every stream so yeah for better or 
Lord, it seems to be a common a common part of the stream. I think I'm not sure if it was the last stream or not, but uh, I think it crashed right at the very end of the stream. Um, but this is probably about the earliest that it's crashed so far. Uh, Nico says, "What is your favorite Eliminator car in Horizon 4?" Ah, uh, in Horizon 4, hmm, I know what it is in Horizon 5. In Horizon 5, I really like the AMG one, but in Horizon 4. There's a couple of really good ones, like the Hoonigan Group A is very, very good. I, I really like that car. Um, what else is really good in Horizon 4? Uh, you have the Bugatti Veyron. I don't know if I would consider the Bugatti Veyron a favorite though, because the Bugatti Veyron is definitely the fastest, like it has the highest top speed, but at the same time, um, the off-road capabilities are pretty bad for the, the, uh, the Bugatti. And that's the thing, like the Bugatti in Horizon 4 is kind of like the AMG 1 in Horizon 5. Both of them have by far the high top speed, but I feel like the AMG 1 has better off-road performance compared to um, what the Bugatti does. But it would be very interesting if the level if the level 10 Bugatti was actually a level 10 in Horizon 5 along with the AMG 1. Now that would be a proper high-speed supercar showdown. Imagine those two cars facing off. Uh, on this map, just blasting down the highway in, in, uh, in the Eliminator Final Showdown, that would be a sight to see. Both of them clocking in at 400 kilometers an hour, that would be epic. Go to the stadium. The stadium is actually a pretty good spot as well. There's definitely cars around there. Actually, in the stadium is where I found, I think I've actually found at least two level 10 cars in the stadium, and both of them were the Brocky. So maybe there's a thing to it. If you guys want to find a level 10 Brocky, go to the stadium. <laughs> but yeah, uh, TJ Coconut says, can we do a level one challenge this game, Strider? I just have to go after this game. Okay. Um, I know we did a level two and a level three challenge last time. Like where you, you start off with, a, or you finish, or you start the final showdown, I should say, with a level two or a level three. So maybe we're going to do that as a challenge instead, if you guys would be interested in doing that. Welcome back, Maverick. Alright guys, I'm back. I, I figure, you know what, since I'm here anyway, I'm just going to try to uh, tune the car right away. And see how fast we can get this thing. See what kind of performance parts they give me here. So these are all the pre-built ones. Usually that's a lot faster. So it's D-Class. I can go all the way up to S2 class with a, let's see what the highest is, 927. And let's see, is there anything higher? This is a 936. Let's see, maybe you guys have a favorite tune for this car. 936 is the highest that I've seen so far. The popularity, this one is uh, 4 stars out of 5. This is a 3 stars out of 5. So how about, let's take a look here. Top speed is 319. This is interesting. If you look on the top right corner, you look under top speed. This one is significantly quicker, even though it's only a 928 versus a 935. So nine. this one is uh, 347. Let's go with this one. Um, let's actually check if the other one is a little bit faster. Three, only 300 kilometers for that one. So if we go based on pure top speed, I'm going to go with this one here instead. Uh, Sego says, Strider, get a funny uh, livery. <laughs> okay. Let's actually see what kind of paint jobs they have for this car. It's going to save this, and then let's see if we can get some kind of a paint job. So I'll go back one, designs and paints. Uh, let's go with uh, find new designs. All right, now we have some options here. Pennzoil? Should it be a police car? Should it be a Pepsi car? <laughs> Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, what? Oh, look, this is interesting. This is like, uh, is it Thomas the Train? I think is what it's called. Yeah, it is Thomas. It's actually called Thomas. That one's interesting. We got Fortnite up here. Some interesting, interesting uh, suggestions. SpongeBob. This is SpongeBob here. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's take a look here. I'm thinking, 
Hmm. How about how about Thomas or or SpongeBob? What do you guys want, Thomas or SpongeBob? Oh, we also have minions. Hey, that could be interesting. Look at the popularity. That one's five star. This is five star. SpongeBob is four star. SpongeBob. Thomas. Okay. Or minions. You know what? Let's go with. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go with SpongeBob for now. Promel says minions. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, that's that's three different options, and I only have one car. Unless I buy three of these cars and I put uh, a different paint job on each of them, that might work. <laughs> but yeah, let's try this for now. We're, and don't worry, guys, we're gonna start the next Eliminator game here very soon. Hey, no, no way, that's cheating. Look at this. <laughs> you don't get to have both distances together. That was pretty cool, though. Let's get on the highway here, and then let's do a top speed run. We're gonna go with uh, zero zero is gonna be the next the next start zero zero next game. Uh, I'll just type this in chat here. All right, so turn it around. So it says it's supposed to go at least three hundred and forty seven kilometers an hour. Let's see if I can actually hit that speed. 347. Whoa, we! I wiped out completely. Okay, let's get back on the highway here. Wow, this. Uh, no, 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 no. Slow down. Okay, let's try again. Here we go. It's very squirrely until it actually gets up to speed. Like, I, I'm just, I'm trying to keep this thing under control. It's, it's definitely super quick. Remember, zero, 0 is going to be the next game start. But I want to see, it says I, I was supposed to be able to hit 347. There it is, guys. I just hit 348, 349. Can I hit 350? 349 kilometers per hour, guys. That's top speed right here. At least down this stretch. Okay, now I gotta look for, okay, zero, 0 just rolled around. So, there it is, let's start the Eliminator. Whoa, accidentally crashed into that car. Start at the stadium, yes. Let's actually go towards the stadium. Let's see if I can make it there in time. I know there are often car drops in the middle. Let's see if there's gonna be anything in that area right now. So zero zero was the start time, guys. Hopefully you can join me again for the next one. Zero zero. Whoa, nope. I was trying to avoid the house already. It's because it's such a short car. The it the turning radius is very like it it oversteers very quickly. You really got to work to keep it under control. All right, so let's set up right in the middle here, and I think. So the car drops are usually, if I'm facing this way, I think there's a, there should be a car drop to my left and also slightly towards my left. No, I'm not sure, maybe behind me. It's been a little bit since I last spawned in here. But I usually try to position myself in such a way that I can see the maximum am amount of car drops in, a, in any given area. <clears throat> Start in stadium. Yeah, I'm going to try to... I'm gonna try to. I'll try to spawn here if I find an, if I see an actual car drop here, or if I hear a car drop here. If I don't see anything here, then I'm probably just gonna spawn somewhere else instead. But yeah, I think I've, I actually found my Brocky, two level ten Brockies that were in this stadium. Uh, but that's that's been a while now since I've since I've uh, found them. Seiko says I love my Celine. The Celine is also a really good car. Uh, probably another car though that I haven't driven in a long time. New car drops incoming! Okay, I'm listening for car drops. I don't hear anything. I don't think there's any cars in the stadium. So, I don't think there's going to be anything here. Um, how about... Let's start on the... On the... On the intersection right over there. Then I can actually see if there's going to be car drops in the... Or like on the festival site. But also in the surrounding area as well. Promo sells handling sacrifice for speed. Yes, that uh, set out with that with that uh, upgrade I had definitely does that. I hear a car drop off towards my left, so there is going to be something right right to my left over here. 
I'm gonna turn around right away. Okay, so it's a level two, so not the greatest. But I'll take it though. Take this as a starter, and there's one more car. Oh, somebody else beat me to it, actually. Okay, if somebody beats you to a car, you just gotta run. Oh, and that car just got taken as well. Look, there's another one up this way. Maybe I can grab this one instead. The beginning is definitely the most crucial when you're trying to look for car drops and get them as get to them as, as quickly as you can. Skydance got a level six starter, so he's off to a fantastic start. Level four GSR, let's take it. All right, what else do we have around here? Looking around. Okay, there's a car off towards my left. Is that the level? I think that's the level two guy. That just, uh, let's see, the race would go straight from here. Should I challenge him? Let's do it. The race should go straight from here. A little bit off towards the right. I want to cross using the bridge uh, that's directly in front and then cut towards the right. This time I want to make sure that I avoid all the trees as much as possible anyway. Go across and there was another car drop way ahead of me there. Okay, go around all the trees, look for the open areas. Oh, this is going to be tricky actually. I'm going, I'm heading right for an intersection. This is going to be... Okay, this is actually not too bad. I knew there was going to be things around that, that point there, but as long as I don't crash into them, that's a good thing. A couple of cars over there that are not in a race yet. If I win this, that's going to be me up to a level 5. Oh, he just quit. Okay. So I turn around, and let's see what they give me here. Ford Focus, let's take it. Mars says, hello from Hungary. How's it going, bud? Glad you can make it up for the stream today. Yeah, we just started this round. If you uh, if you have a game loaded up, definitely feel free to join me. Uh, if not this game, then uh, maybe in a future one. Oh, I'm gonna challenge this guy. It's a level seven. He's just sitting there. What's he doing? If I win this, this is very risky. But if I win this, that's gonna be a nice little upgrade for me. Oh, he's not sitting there anymore, though. He must have got the notification that he got challenged. Okay, so it's on the road there. Go, 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 go. Guys, I'm probably going to start to regret this as soon as he starts pulling ahead of me. Uh, I'm trying to block him here. Uh, go, go. Whoa, that was way too close. I almost crashed into that. Okay, I'm still in the lead. Still in the lead. I need to just get onto the road before he does. Go, 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 go. This car is actually decently quick, so as long as you get it right, the, the right setup, uh, it, you have a chance of winning. Go, go. I almost rolled my car there again. Let's see how he's going to land. Uh, he's right behind me, and he's gaining very quickly. Uh, that, that car is just so fast. Guys, he's going to overtake me here, unless I block him. No, 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 no. I, I went onto the road. I... I blocked him too late. I blocked him way too late. Uh, that one didn't pay off. That hurts. Another painful, painful loss. What can I say? I knew, I knew it was gonna. It was always gonna be a miss, a mixed match race. I wasn't gonna beat him on pace alone, but I was hoping because he was just sitting there. Where, where did that race happen? Back here. He was just sitting in the grass over here and I was just hoping that he was just gonna, maybe he was AFK or something like that and then I could just grab his car very easily. But as soon as I challenged him, he instantly, instantly went right at it. Tough, but that's how it goes, guys. I know a lot of you guys were in that game and uh, sorry to leave so soon, but hopefully one of you guys manages to win. I know Skydance was in there and a lot of, the other, uh, of you guys were in there as well, so hopefully one of you guys can still manage to win that. Unfortunate indeed, but let's see. We're at 07, let's go with 09. Maybe next time I'll try to be more careful with who I race or just set up the race better. Fast travel to the festival site again. I'm probably going to swap my car for something else now. We've driven the Isetta for a little bit already. And the Isetta has proven that it is indeed a very fast car. <laughs> with very interesting handling. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's change car and let's see. 
Let's go with like an actual, let's go with the supercar or something like that. Um, let's see, maybe a Ferrari of some kind or a Bugatti Veyron. Uh, Corvette. This truck looks very interesting. DeLorean, interesting. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, look at this Ferrari, $2 million Ferrari. Hmm. This car right here, the Ferrari Evo, was actually the fastest car in uh, in Horizon 4. If you guys remember having that car, it had, I don't even know what it was, like 450 kilometers, or was it even faster than that at top speed? It was just absolutely ridiculously quick. They definitely toned it a lot. Uh, they toned it down a lot for this game, though. It's not nearly as quick in uh, Horizon 5 as it was in Horizon 4. Promo says, do you like the Bugatti uh, Devo? Yes, that's also a very good car. Um, I think I actually did drive a Bugatti recently, but I'm not sure if it was the Devo or not. So 08 guys, 09 is gonna roll around any second now. 09 just rolled around. Mars says, I love your vids and live streams. I learned so much from it, still can't win. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the kind words. I appreciate it. I, um, and I'm glad that I was able to help you with like different tactics and strategies and things like that. Well, as you can see, it doesn't mean that it's it's guaranteed to get you wins. I mean, just based on how I've played so far today, I haven't got any wins yet. <laughs> but over time, it definitely does work. Like the strategies are valid. Uh, you know how you set up your car, how you look for car drops, and all that stuff. It's all valid strategies, but. At the end of the day, your opponent definitely gets a word too, right? And if he's a, if he's a faster, if he's a better driver, or if he's in a faster car, uh, you can still lose a lot, and that's what I've been doing so far. But over time though, um, you're definitely gonna get a good number of wins. And if it hasn't happened yet, Mars, you're gonna get a win. Keep trying, you're definitely gonna be getting a win. So there was nothing in that area there. Um, I'm probably gonna try and spawn. How about I do this? Let's start over here, just for the fun of it, back here on the on the uh, airfield. I know that area does have car drops as well, and it kind of breaks it up a little bit. Aqua Genesis says, "LOL, I crashed." Okay, was it the car or was it the game? I've done both so far today. <laughs> All right, let's see. Aqua Genesis says, haha, that's where I was going to spot. Okay, yeah, definitely feel free to do so. I don't see anything here so far, so this might actually be all in vain, but I'm gonna have to look for, I'm still gonna have to look for a, a car drop as soon as possible. There is a car off towards my left. I missed the road that I was gonna go on. Let's see if I can veer this way. Mike Mechanic is in here, G-Man is in here. Promo says I found an AMG drop there once. Wow, that's awesome. That is still, the oh, AMG yeah. one is still the one car drop that I still have never found. But one of these days, guys, one of these days, I'm gonna find that AMG one drop. I can't believe it though, like 4,000 games played, I still have never, I don't think I've even seen an AMG one drop, much less found one. Audi Quattro, let's start with this. Why did it not give me the option to pick it? All right, let's reverse. Try this again. All right, now we can grab it. All right, what do we have? We are inside of the arena at the moment. Oh, look at this, the arena is still, or the mountain is still included in that, so maybe I would love to have a final showdown or have a, a race up in the mountain. The mountain is always so much fun. If you guys watched my video that I had today, that was, uh, I, I was racing up in the mountain and I got 10 eliminations that game. But, like I mentioned in the video, those guys made it very easy for me, like they were not setting up properly and, uh, yeah, it was just, sometimes, you know, a lot of your wins comes down to your opponents and how well they drive and if they have a bad game or if they don't set up properly, it's very easy to win. There's a car down there, it's a red car. Is that a... Is that a Lancer or is that a Camaro? Or is that an Audi Quattro? 
I have no idea, but something is... Okay, I gotta find out where the race would go. Wait, is that a... Oh, it is a Lancer. It's a level 4 Lancer. He's chasing me, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and lure him towards the left. G-Man just upgraded to a level 4 car. From here, the race should go towards the right. And this car does have decent top speed, so... If I'm able to snipe him, then I can use the speed that this car has. Oh, look, he gave up. No, I was hoping he was gonna come a little bit closer. A little bit farther, and I think... Did he get distracted by that car drop? There's a car drop up that way. No, he just gave up. Oh, wait, look, we got one car towards the right, two of them this way. Oh, this guy's gonna get sniped. Ah, uh, Seiko, buddy! I was not expecting it to be you, but whoa. I also wasn't expecting the finish line to be towards the left. I thought for sure. Is it up on the mountain? I think it is up on the mountain. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I thought the race would be towards the right down on the highway because I was already near the edge of the map. Seiko is actually winning though, so he's gonna have, he has a good chance at victory here, guys. Win or lose, this is gonna be a good race. I do have the better car though. So let's see how the race at the mountain goes. Now this is the tricky part. Do I go up the back of the mountain or do I take a more direct route? One point seven kilometers to go still. I think I'm probably just gonna take a direct route up the mountain. But one thing that's gonna be a hindrance here is gonna be the automatic transmission. If you guys have climbed up the mountain with an automatic transmission, you know how uh, bad it can get sometimes. Like, usually the car gear is at least one gear higher than I would like it to be. Like I'm in third gear right now. If I was driving with a manual transmission, I would probably be in second gear. But it doesn't downshift until it absolutely needs to. And uh, that makes climbing up the mountain in a slow car uh, pretty frustrating sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm in second gear now. I'm almost to the finish line, just keep going. A little bit farther. Piano Fire says, hey, I will join the next. I'll be happy to have you, Piano Fire. And Maddie Gamer's in this game as well, so we got some very good players in here. If Piano Fire joins, it's gonna make it, it's gonna be that much more difficult to win, but it's gonna make it that much more fun as well. Always fun to get as many uh, players in as we possibly can, get as many of us together in one match. All right, and across the line. Took a little while, but eventually, the Quattro was able to make it to the top of the mountain. All right, what do we get for level four? Please, not the buggy. They give me the buggy. I can't take it, this, I just can't take that car. Or should I say I won't take that car? The mountain is still included here. There's a car drop back here. Did I pass it on the way up? Let's go find out what it is. Maybe it's gonna be something better than what I already have. But first, I must flip my car. What do we have here? Level three, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. What else? There's a lot of cars, look at this, guys. There's a lot of cars directly in front of me on the mountain. I'm wondering if that's gonna mean that we're gonna be getting some mountain races, or maybe even a mountain final showdown. If that is the case, then I would like to get up the mountain already. The mountain is one of the easiest ways to snipe a fast car and win. Right now, this car is going to have a hard time just getting up the mountain, I think. There is a car off towards my right. But you need to be set up properly in order to actually get these races and get these wins. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of very vulnerable. <laughs> I'm in a bad spot right here. And considering there is a car off towards my left. Oh, and it's a level... Is that a level 5? I don't want to race anybody yet. Not yet. I'm going to lose, guys. <laughs> okay, so it's actually not on the mountain. I thought the finish line would be on the mountain. And okay, so it's just down the mountain. If he crashes more than me, then I have a chance. But if I crash a lot, then I'm gonna be done. Okay, go, go, go. I'm actually in the lead somehow. I'm not, I'm not sure how. He must have crashed into a tree or something. No, 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 no. Oh, go, 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 go. It's all about who can get to the bottom of the, the mountain the fastest without crashing in, into anything along the way. 
huge speed boost, 250, 260 kph for this car. Where did my opponent go? Did he quit? I don't see him anywhere. Yeah. Okay, there's a car off towards my left over here. A level 8 Metro. Interesting. Okay, so I beat a level 5. So that's a nice little upgrade. I'll happily take that uh, Maserati over that uh, buggy. <laughs> that's an easy choice. How, okay, it is on the mountain. Oh, this is really good, guys. This is really good. I was hoping it was going to be up on the mountain. I love the mountain races. They're always a lot of fun. It's an easy way to quickly upgrade, but it's also a very easy way to lose a fast car. If you get sniped by uh, a slow car, it's super easy to um, to lose your car up there. Like You can win a 1v10 up there, no problem. Assuming you set up properly. But sometimes what people will do is they'll just sit up right around the corner at the top of the map there, on the mountain. And then uh, you're invisible on the map, so you just wait until a fast car comes around the corner and you just snipe them, go straight. Through, uh, five seconds later, you're across the finish line and the level 10 car is barely even turned around. So the mountain is one of the absolute easiest ways to snipe fast cars. Let's see what I can do over here. Maybe I'll be able to snipe some fast cars, but maybe I'm probably going to get sniped. So we'll find out. I just want to position myself and make sure that I don't get sniped. That's about all I can do. There is already one car off towards my left. Wait. Do I want to risk this? There's a car right over there on my left. This is very risky. Yeah, I'm on the right road. Okay, so it's a level 5? Wait, hold on. Maybe I can snipe this guy here. This time I actually want to make sure that I pay attention to what the cars are behind me as well. There's three cars over here. Now I feel like... <laughs> nice little win. Uh, that was... Uh, I knew the finish line was somewhere in that area there. There's a, there's a car hiding around the corner here. Level 7. Oh, I grabbed the wrong car. I didn't want to... I didn't want it to be that car. No, 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 no! I'm done. I'm officially, I'm officially lost. I don't know why I set up the way that I did there. Go, 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 go! I'm not gonna win this. There's no way. Oh, guys. Oh. That one hurts too. If I had a chance anywhere, it was up on the mountain. And uh, I just did it to myself again. I should have just gone right by him. I don't know why why I stopped right in front of him. I had to pick a car, and if I wouldn't have grabbed a car, he would have sniped me going back, but... Oh, man. I would have loved to be part of the final showdown on the mountain, but wasn't able to make it happen this time. Here, let's do some quick drifting for fun. I'm going to wait a little bit, because I know that was it was close to the final showdown, so I want I don't want you guys to quit. I'm hoping one of you guys can still win in the final showdown, even though I wasn't able to make it far. I think what we're gonna do is maybe do one more free for all, and then after that we will, we're gonna hop into some challenges. Maybe do like the, you guys wanna do like a level two, level three win? Or like a level two, level three challenge, that would be like we did last time? I know we've been doing the level one challenge uh, for a while, and uh, the level 2, level 3 challenge kind of changes it up a little bit and makes it a little bit, uh, gives it a little bit more variety instead of just one or two cars. Level 1 car, yeah, you guys are you guys are interested in that? Alright, I'm just going to give it a little bit, uh, we're at 22 after right now, let's go with uh, 24, let's go with 24 for the next game. I'm in a little bit of a drifting mood, so let's go with, I'm not a very good drifter, but it is fun. Let's go with the Formula Drift cars. Which one is good? Um, hmm, let's see. There was one, it's a short car. It's a BMW, I think it was. Yeah, this BMW, I like this BMW car. For a drift car, let's grab this. Uh, Oxmall, yes, yeah, it's gonna be at Oxmall again. Yes, yep. 
But we're gonna do just level two and level three. That's gonna be the goal. Instead of a level one challenge, it's gonna be a level two, level three challenge. See if I can get some points here. I don't even know how many points I've gotten down the mountain here before, but it is a lot of fun. And it, it just looks so cool. Look, for the people that can drift very well, it, it's so fun to watch them, right? And I have a lot to learn. I'm just like, I don't know, I, I definitely wouldn't consider myself an expert or anything, but it is, it is still fun to do it, though. Okay, so this is going well, actually. 200,000 points already. 24 guys, that's gonna be the next game. We're at 23 after right now. Still keeping an eye on it. Go, go, go. 350,000 points. Okay, I think the 24 is gonna roll around here any second now, so I'm gonna have to get ready here. Start in the stadium. Maybe, you know what, this time I'll give it a go. I'll start in the stadium this time. I'm I'm not there now, so I can't see if there's gonna be any car drops that are gonna spawn there, but I will give it a go. I'm gonna spawn right on the outside. 24 just rolled around. So, you know what, maybe I have enough time. I don't think I'll have enough time to actually drive there, but I'll do it anyways. I'll head in that direction. See how far I get before the game actually starts. Whoa, that was close. The drift cars are obviously not made for this type of stuff, like just driving around normally. But it's, it's actually not been too bad. This is actually working pretty well. Alright, let's go. Stadium is just ahead. Still finding a session for me, so I'm not queued in yet. Okay, joining session now. Starting soon. Let's see if I can make it into the stadium before the game actually starts. Go, 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 go. Alright, I made it in. Now I just gotta position myself the other way. I'm, I'm facing the wrong way so far. Oh, this car is just spinning its wheels. I wanna be facing towards the left though. Because I think the car drops are usually... I hear something guys, I definitely hear something. There's a, there's a car drop in here. All right, so I'm gonna spawn just outside of the stadium. You know what, right here. I think, let's see, it's, it should put me close by. Random boy says this is a regular game, right? Yes, this is gonna be the last free for all and then we're gonna uh, go over to the level two, level three challenge. Uh, G-Man says GG Maddie. Okay, I'm assuming Maddie won that one. I did try to wait a little bit longer because I knew some of you guys were still in that game. But as long as one of you guys won, that's the main that's the main thing for me. Oh look, there's a car drop behind me. I don't think it's a good one. Oh, it's a level two Audi. But there's also something else in here. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly try to go for this one instead. Oh, there's another car coming for. Oh, it's a level two S car. I don't want that. He can have that one. <laughs> Oh, look, there's another car off towards my right as well. Oh, that level two just got taken. Look, there's a lot of cars. Whoa, there's a lot of cars in here. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars arena. around the arena. I'm not sure if it's you guys or if it's other people, but we got a, we got a whole uh, group of cars in this area here. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it up there in time either. I would like to see what it is, though. That's a level six. Oh. A <laughs> uh, cartoon got it though, so he's got a good start. I think this guy's chasing me though. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance here. Unless it's a level one, I might have a chance. Let's see what he. Oh, it's another level one. I don't know who it is. He's getting chased as well. He just got challenged by the level six. Thanks, cartoon. I have no idea who was chasing me, but you definitely saved me there. Thanks, bud. <coughs> hmm. Got a bit of a scratchy throat. Let's see, what else do we have? Okay, there's a car drop way ahead of me, up here this way. Oh, look, there's one right to my right here. Let's go grab this one instead, if I can get there in time. I do see some other cars on the mini-map, so one of them could easily beat me to it. Cirque Boy is in here as well, very nice. 
Let's go, let's go. Can I get this? Oh, it's, uh, I don't know, guys. I, I don't even know if I want this, but I'm gonna take it. It is, like I said before, the only reason I would take this car is if it's early game, and I know there's still a lot of level ones. But even this feels like I'm already too late. Like I feel like a lot of cars have already upgraded past the level one status. I'm, I'm only gonna keep this car as long as I have to. If I can find something else, just about anything else, I'm definitely gonna swap it out. There is a car drop way ahead of me. I think my best chance in this car is to set up a race that would favor me. So that would be something like a snipe, for example. Wait, look, there's a car back there. Maybe I can go check that car. And you know what, when the arena shrinks, we're gonna be getting a lot more cars in here as well. So obviously nothing in this area. If there was anything good in this area, those car drops are all gone by now. But let's go find out what that car drop is up there. Maybe it's gonna be something decent. Seiko says, I was the one chasing you. I got eliminated by cartoon. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. I figured it could very well be one of you guys. Oh, it's a Pajo. The one car that is worse than this car is that, is that car. <laughs> oh, what are the odds? Oh, hopefully that guy's not gonna go for me. Hopefully he's gonna go for that car drop back there. No, he's chasing me. I think he's definitely chasing me. Or is he not? Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's tempted by that car drop back there, but doesn't look like it. Especially if I'm running, it definitely makes me look like I have a slow car, which I definitely do. But what else do we have? We have the arena is shrinking. Piano fire is up to a level eight. Uh, cartoon is also up to a level eight. So some of you guys are in some very fast cars already. Let's start heading towards the festival site already because as soon as the arena shrinks, we're gonna be getting a lot of cars in that area. And I would imagine at least one of them has to be good. That guy's still back there though. As Soon as the arena shrinks, there should be some cars on the highway here and then also on the festival site directly ahead. So right now, where are the cars? Nothing here. Okay, there have to be cars in the festival site then. But oh, there's already somebody by the festival site. Let's see, level three and, uh, you know what, I'll take this for now. It is a downgrade level wise, and a level two. What else do we have? There's one more car coming back there. I still don't want to get into a race quite yet, not unless I can actually do a proper setup. Wait, look at that, a level six, that's a level six back there. I would race him, you know what, if he comes this way, I will challenge him to a race. I just need to make sure that I get the proper setup, so that would mean Okay, he is coming this way. That's good. There's one car off towards the right there that I want to avoid. Wait, we got another car coming from the right. Okay, now I, now I can set up try and set up a snipe on this guy here. Is he... Did he give up? Oh, I think he gave up. He's trying to chase somebody else now. There is a couple more car drops. Uh, two of them. Okay, one of them just got taken. And from here... Hmm, this is tricky. Okay, those two guys just challenged each other. Where are they going? So they're going straight back that way. So that's a good indication of where the races could be, where future races could be going. So if I challenge this guy that's right around the corner here, I'm not sure what he's driving though. Oh, I think he's looking for that car drop. Let's actually get into the, into the pyramids here and see what it is. It might be something decent, you never know. A level two? Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. How about the other one? Oh, another level two. That's too bad. That's that's two bad cars. Okay, are those two guys gonna race each other? They probably will. Yeah, they just did. And I'm just driving around in a slow car. Okay, I need to set oh up for God. my next race. I need to get a better car. All right, what else do we have? There's a lot of cars behind me. There is... Wait, those guys just showed up out of nowhere. We got a level nine. Andre is up to a level nine. Okay, there's a car right over here. Can I, can I get this? Oh, it's another level three car. You know what, I'm gonna challenge. Can I challenge him? Nope. A little bit too slow. Oh, it's kick up, kid! And it's towards the right. 
Go, go, go. Let's go, kick up, kid. Me versus you. He is in the lead. I think my car does have better top speed, though. Versus, that's a level 9 right over there. Yeah, the Quattro is just so good. Go, go, go. This is so close. <laughs> Can I get this? Oh, this is going to be very close. As long as I don't crash into anything around here, I might have a chance. Go, go. And across the line. Kick up, kid. That was an excellent race. You were very close by. And I just had a level 4 car before. Are they going to give me another? Okay, as long as it's not the, uh, the buggy. I'll take this level 4. There's one car sitting at the back of the map there. And Mason says, I did not challenge. Yeah, I think that was me. I think it was kind of a blind challenge again. I knew there was a car there. And, whoa, Piano Fire is up to a level 10 Evo. Nacho Gio just eliminated somebody, so he's going to be upgrading to a fast car as well. This guy towards my left is in a race already. What is that? Level 7? Nacho is up to a level 8 Metro. I think at this point... I basically have to try and snipe a fast car. Like, I'm only in a level 4 car. So I gotta basically try to snipe a level 6, 7, 8 car or higher. If I can lure somebody down this way and then snipe them, because at this point the races are gonna be going backwards. They're gonna be going back that way. Look, there's a couple more cars that spawn in the arena. Still low level cars, only low level cars. Okay, these two guys just challenge each other, but there's one more car drop. Let me check this car drop here. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be something good. Oh, it's the same thing I already have, so I'm going to pass. But yeah, that basically puts me back to my original plan, which is sniping a fast car. And if I can lure somebody down this road, I can snipe them going back because all the races are going to be going straight from here. A lot of cars towards the right still. I just need one car to come this way. Okay, there's a couple of cars up in this direction. I'm just not sure if they're coming in towards me or not. Anybody? Arena. Imagine if it was an AMG one, that would be something. Yeah, that would be epic. And imagine if I won, that would be even, <laughs> even more something. Okay, this guy just upgraded to a level... Oh, uh, wait, that's a level 9. Oh, if he chases me, I am definitely done. You know what, I have to... Oh, there's another car up that way. Oh, there's somebody passing over top of me. No, 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 no. The race is going to be going straight. I've already lost, guys. I've already lost. There's zero chance of me winning this. Yeah, I knew, I knew it instantly. I think that's, uh, that's one. Is Piano Fire, is that you? I'm pretty sure that's Piano Fire back there in a level 10 RS200. Kool-Aid is also a good driver, so yeah, this race is done. Guys, I can't win today. I just can't. <laughs> uh... But such is, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. GG's, all the best. Hopefully you do well in the final showdown. Maybe one of you guys uh, will get a chance to race him later. But yeah, I think from this point, we're probably going to switch over to... Maddie Gamer says, I have a fun fact for you, Strategy. There are four Eliminator live streams now and everyone in the same session as you. Are you serious? Interesting. I did not know that. Okay. Piano Fire says, yes, hiding in my RS200. Okay, so that was Piano Fire. In the same session. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, Matty Gamer, hopefully, as long as one of you guys wins, that's the main goal. I mean, I, I obviously have no chance to win it now, but as long as one of you guys does, then uh, I would consider it a success. So, yeah, I'd like to say, may the best man win, right? So, hopefully, that's going to be one of you guys, and uh, that's still going to be mission accomplished. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it crashed. The game froze again. I think it crashed, guys. For the first time, we've got two crashes in one stream. Why? Click OK to terminate the program. Application error. Well, guys. I hardly know what to do. Part of me feels like it's almost like an indication that I should be done at this point. But we haven't done the challenges yet. 
Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna give it one more try. Let's just do like a level two, level three challenge and then I think I'm gonna call it for today. So I'm just gonna load it up one more time and uh, we'll do the level two, level three challenge. I think a lot of you guys were part of the challenge last time already. Uh, if you're not, basically what we do is instead of doing a level one challenge and we all hide together and stuff like that, we just play the game like normal. And then, but before we get to the final showdown, we swap down our cars to a level two car or a level three car. The only rule is that you cannot be in a level two Audi RS6 because the Audi RS6 is just too good. But as long as you're in any other level two or level three car, then uh, you can compete in the challenge. So. Uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in doing that, that's what we're going to uh, try for the next one. Promo says, I'm going to leave now. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, Promo. And uh, thanks for joining, bud. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's... Uh... Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do with this challenge. I'm looking forward to this. This should be good. <clears throat> Metagamer says, check that in settings when turning on the game. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. I'm actually... Yeah, let me do that. As soon as the game loads up, I'm going to go through my settings and maybe make some adjustments, make some changes. Ray tracing, I thought I did have it off, but I'm not sure. I can't say offhand if I actually did or not. So yeah, just wait, as soon as I load in, then I'll have a chance to, to show you guys my settings. Okay, Seiko says, Strider, are we spawning at Oxmo this time around, like the level one challenge? No, we won't. So what we're gonna do, if we do the level two, level three challenge, you can still spawn wherever you want, but we just all group together. Uh, right before the final showdown starts, we all group together like we normally would with a level one challenge. And then we try to pull the finish line in a, in a direction that is opposite compared to where everybody else would normally go. And then we try to manipulate the finish line that way. So that's gonna be the goal. But during the rest of the game, instead of hiding and uh, like we normally would with a level one car, you would just play it normally. The only thing that makes this more difficult is um, the fact that you're gonna be playing with a normal car and you could get eliminated sooner. If we're all together in a level one, with level one cars, we usually have a protector and that makes it easier to get to the final showdown. So, but on the flip side is you at least have a better car and then the only thing is, even if you do get upgrade to like a level seven, eight, nine, ten 10 car, you still have to downgrade to a level two or a level three car in order to partake in the challenge so that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, Jimmy says, okay, so free for all, but drop down to a level two or level three. Exactly, yeah, it's gonna be, well, the free for all sense is, we, we do still all work together. So it's not a free for all where, where um, you challenge anybody that's in the stream. Um, we do still try to work together so that we don't challenge each other. Like you, it's a free for all where you can race anybody else, right? But like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try real hard to not challenge any of you guys by accident. And uh, we all we all work together that way, but we do try to uh, for the final showdown we do work together then. So <clears throat> hopefully that makes sense. Maddie Gamer says goodbye strategy. I have to go for now. Have a good night. Thank you, Maddie. I appreciate you stopping by, bud. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have probably just play for a little bit longer before I'm gonna call it a day as well. But uh, yeah, thank you, Maddie, for stopping by and. Uh, have a good night, and uh, hopefully we can play again together sometime soon. So the next game is going to be, it's at 41 after right now, so let's start the challenge at 43. 43, and then I'll just type it in chat here, level 2 and 3. 2 and 3 challenge. Something like that. There you go. Nico says, I have to go now too. Hope you have a good stream. Thank you, Nico. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. And if you want to rewatch the stream later on, as soon as the stream is over, it's going to go live on the channel. So feel free to, if you're interested in turning or yeah, watching how the challenges turned out, uh, you can still watch that after the stream is over. So yeah, definitely feel free to check it out afterwards. Uh, that evasion says, may I join? Absolutely. Yeah, everybody is free to join in the challenge. Definitely. Uh, Seiko says, Strider, are we keeping the Volvo V60? Yes, if you find a Volvo V60, you can definitely keep that for the final showdown. The only car you can't have for the final showdown is the level two Audi RS6, and that's just because it's an, it's an OP car, right? Like, it's technically, it's a level five car, so if, and trying to keep it fair, we're only gonna go with level two cars and level three cars, but no Audi RS6. 
So 43 guys, that's gonna be in about any second now. I'm gonna park myself over here already. So I'm gonna try to upgrade as, as far as I can and as fast as I can, but then just downgrade towards the end. But then I'm also going to try to be very careful so that I don't accidentally challenge one of you guys along the way. This time there's going to be no blind challenges. I want to be very particular about who I race this game. And I don't I don't remember all of you. 43 just rolled around. I don't remember all of your gamer tags. So if I do challenge one of you by accident, then I'm going to apologize ahead of time already. But uh, hopefully hopefully I don't accidentally challenge one of you guys. But if I do, it's def it's by accident. For this, for this challenge, we are all working together, so uh, no blind challenges for me. Alright, starting soon here. Buggy replaces the Audi RS6, final offer. <laughs> the, uh, that one, that could be very tempting, but I think we're going to keep it to just a level 2s and 3s. I don't see any car drops here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and spawn somewhere else. Let's go with... Maybe top of the mountain this time? Yeah, let's go top of the mountain. I haven't started there yet uh, on the stream. Maybe, who knows, maybe there's gonna be something up there. I think, uh, who was it? Um, Skydance, yeah, it was Skydance. He found a level, in one of his videos on his YouTube channel, he found a level 10 car up there. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been spawning up there, but I've never found something quite that good up there. I do hear something up here, there's music, so I know there's gonna be a car up here. A level 6 Audi RS7. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get this if I can. Unless somebody beats me to it. Definitely happy that I started up here, though. Dennis is in here as well. Very nice. There's a car here. Let's see. Who was it? Maybe I can race him, and that, that would be my first, my first upgrade. Nacho is in here as well, very nice. Oh, I think this guy's just going for uh, for town. There's another car drop up here, up in front of, yeah, up this way. I just gotta check who this is though. I wanna make sure that's not one of you guys. So I'm not sure who it is. Uh, Fastang, oh, it's Fastang, okay. Yeah, uh, so Fastang is, is with us. So I'm not gonna challenge you, buddy. So definitely feel free to grab any of those car drops. I was gonna say, if you're part of the stream, just, then uh, just honk three times and I won't challenge you, right? <laughs> <But> <laughs> if you honk even once, that would already start the race. So kind of just a little bit of a joke that I made for myself. Is there, uh, what kind of car drop is that towards the right? Fastang, if this is a good car, it's a, there's a level three over here, Fastang, if you're interested in taking it. I'm not gonna take this one. All right, so keep going, get out of town. I am still outside of the arena, but not by much. There is still, is there anything up ahead of me? Maybe up this way? Sabrowski is in here and he got a level six. Very nice, bud. He's off to a good start as well. I think anytime you can find a level five though or higher, you're off to a pretty good start. So Sabrowski is in the level five. Ford Focus. Bunch of cars off towards the left. I should be able to race at least one of them. Let's see which one's going to be the closest. Okay, there's somebody coming this way already. In a level 5 F-150. Is that one of you guys or not? Let's find out. I'm going to get close to him. Husu, are you? I think you are on the stream, right? I'm pretty sure. So I'm not going to challenge... Wait, or are you not? I mean, we're, we're in for it now, so let's go, let's do this. Chris Hoddle says, I find a level seven Cayenne. Very nice, that's an awesome start. That's a fantastic start. Anytime you can get a purple level car, um, you're, you're gonna have a great game. You're just gonna have a fantastic start. This one is, a, this is a big difference too, as you can see, like a level five versus this level six. This one, this car is so much quicker. Mr. One, hey, hey, how is it going, bud? Glad you can make it in for the stream, bud. Feel free to join us. Right now we're doing a level two, level three challenge. So this is like the new spin on the level one challenge where we all we all work together 
in the final showdown. But, uh, wait, we got... I'm in a bad spot here. Yeah, if you want to join us, feel free to do definitely feel free to do so. Where is it? Okay. Levante. <clears throat> but yeah, basically, if you're just joining the stream now, you can play with any... Any level 2 or any level 3 car in the Final Showdown, except for the Audi RS6. So... Where would the race go from here? I think it's going to go towards the left. But, yeah, it's not a free-for-all where you can challenge anybody. We do try to keep everybody... Uh, yeah, we, we try to keep everybody... Well, we try to keep the races, I should say, for the Final Showdown. So I'm very particular about who I race. That guy could have easily sniped me there, and he did not. I don't know who it is. Let's go back and check. I'm not sure who's in that Levante. I don't, I'm looking around. There is one more car on the highway. Maybe... I think that Levante is probably going to challenge the other car instead. Like, this... Oh, this Ferrari is so fast, though. Like, you see how quickly it's gaining on the Levante. I mean, Levante is really good off-road, though. From here, there's no advantage. Oh, lost to you again. Hey, bud. How's it going? Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm gonna see you in the final showdown, bud. Have a good one. I'm going to see you in the final showdown, if I make it that far. Based on how well I've been playing today, I'm not sure if I'll even make it to the final showdown. But if I do make it to the final showdown, I'm hoping to see you uh, in it as well. Uh, there's one more car on the, on the, on the road ahead of me. Somebody upgraded to a level 9 Ford Focus. There's a car drop here. Hold on. The races are going to go towards the left from here. No, no, don't do this. Not now. I'm, I'm spinning out at the worst possible moment. He could have challenged me. He did not. There's also... Oh, I want to get onto the road. This car needs to get on the road. It doesn't do very well off-road. Here, maybe I can... Oh, no. You know what? Those two guys are going to race each other on the mini-map. Yeah, they did just challenge each other. At the same time, I need to race somebody. Let's see about this guy here. Where is that race going? Probably towards the right. So that would mean my race would also go towards the right. Let's see if I can challenge this guy. But I, I don't want to do any blind challenges. So I've got to make sure that I, I'm not accidentally challenging one of you guys. Oh, is it... I think you... Oh, are, somebody was just mentioning... Okay. Yeah, okay. Expectations. Okay, yeah. All right, yes. So, I'm going to try and challenge you for the final showdown as well. AM4 is in here as well. A couple of, a lot of car drops around here. And I don't necessarily need to upgrade to a level 10, because the main goal with this challenge is just to make it to the final showdown. So, if somebody wants a buggy, guys, there's one right here. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's see. We have... We have somebody coming this way. What is it? I'm not sure what it is or who it is. But I think what I'm going to try and do is... I don't want to get off-road too much with this car because this car loves to be... Obviously it handles the best on the highway. So I'm going to try and stick on here as much as I can. Until I find out where the final showdown is going to be. I'm guessing... Hmm, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be on the highway at this point. It's probably going to be maybe up here. The final showdowns, it could be up in that direction over there. We're down to the final 18 drivers at this point. Fastang just beat somebody. All right. So he's going to be up to, I'm going to watch, see what he's going to upgrade to. There's a lot of cars off towards the right, but it's all in... Um, okay, so he upgraded to a level 5 F-150. Hey, since I need to up downgrade to a level 2 and a level 3, maybe I should start looking around already. A level 3 Volvo. Now, that is very tempting. That's actually one of the best cars that you can get. I'm kind of thinking about switching my car already, but I don't know if it's too early. Let's see what else there is available here. There's a lot of car drops in the, the festival site here. Let's take a look. A level 4 buggy, a level 2 Carrera. So I'm going to pass on that. A level 5 F-150, I'm going to pass on that as well. Yeah, because we, we have only a minute and five seconds before the final, uh, shot, before the final showdown is going to start. So I'm kind of thinking maybe maybe now would be the time to uh, downgrade already. 
We're down to the final 15 drivers already, so let's let's do this. Let's downgrade to this car already. All right, 36 seconds. Somebody upgraded to a level eight pro truck. Fastang is up to a level seven Porsche Cayenne. Since I have the downgrade now, I'm basically playing for the final showdown, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to basically just hide. There is one more car. Okay, a G-Man just downgraded to a level three uh, Hyundai Veloster. So just remember guys, you wanna downgrade to a level two or a level three car while you still can. I think a lot of cars that a lot of the cars that are going to be available are going to be level two and level three, but you're just going to have to make sure that you do it now while you still can before this before most of them get taken. Arena, so expectations just downgraded to a level two uh, Audi RS6. So remember, the Audi RS6 is going to. So there's another Volvo right here, guys. Right here. Look at where I'm at right now. I'll show you guys right here. There's whoever needs a car, just uh, come towards me right now. There's a level three Porsche Macan and a Volvo right here. If somebody wants to take them. This is your chance. I would definitely recommend the Volvo first and then the Porsche Macan, but if you guys want one, now is your chance. So remember guys, no Audi RS6 for the final showdown. That's the only uh, forbidden car for the challenge. <clears throat> Alright, who else do we have? There's somebody behind me there. I'm not sure if it's one of you guys, but I'm gonna run just in case. If it is one of you guys and you need to downgrade, this is probably the cars that you're gonna want to take. Oh no, he's chasing me, he's definitely chasing me. I think the, the races are gonna go towards the left. Oh, uh, this guy is, uh, he's definitely still trying. Oh, now I'm gonna get caught in a sandwich here. I'm gonna, okay, Nick is, oh yeah, a rep. I'm gonna lose, I'm definitely gonna lose this. I don't think, I, I don't think there's any chance at victory here. He was determined. Maybe I did downgrade too fast. I wasn't at level seven and I swapped it for this level three, but he wants this race, so I'm gonna have to try. I gave it everything, but at the end of the day, I just don't, I don't, I'm not sure that I'm fast enough. I'm gonna try and block him if I can. Maybe, maybe I might have a chance at victory here yet, but I'm not sure. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Uh, I crashed there. Oh, but he also crashed, guys. I think I might beat him. So Nick swapped his car for a level three uh, Volvo. So he's driving the same thing that I am right now. We did it. All right, a 3v8 victory. All right. Let's do it. Oh, he quit. The level eight pro truck quit. So I'm, there's no point. I'm just gonna have to deny that. And we have 40 seconds until the final showdown starts, so maybe we should make our plan right now to find out, you know, to figure out where we want to go. Let's see, if, if I hide myself here, hopefully I don't get sniped, but yeah, normally from here the race would go towards the north. So what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to try and pull the finish line uh, directly east? We could basically group up on this road and then pull it towards the east over there, or we can pull it towards the west. Let's say we go down this road here, and then we go towards the west. I'm thinking the west would probably be, uh, both of them would probably go towards the trees, but I'm kind of I'm kind of favoring this western approach because if the cars are down here already, they're gonna see what we're gonna do. So this is the plan, guys. Meet me over here, and we're gonna go west. So meet right over here, and let's pull it towards the west. <clears throat> Thadvation says, why did you ban me? Uh, I'm not sure if you're talking about me. I haven't, I don't think I've banned anybody. But yeah, this is the plan, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna try and pull the finish line towards the west. So up here. So meet me up here, right here. This is where I'm at. Head to head's complete. And we're gonna pull Get it this way. For the final showdown. From final here, showdown down the road, down this seconds. way. And then pull it this way. And hopefully, maybe it's gonna end up in the trees here. That would be exciting. Okay, expectations is here, very nice. Who else do we have? G-Man is here, all right. All right, 10 seconds, guys, let's go, let's go. Eight, seven, six, oh. three, 
to... We, I think we left too late. Usually you want to be out of the arena by the three second mark. Okay, so it's a little bit towards the right. Let's take a look. Okay, so we can follow this down for a little ways, and then we gotta go towards the right. But as long as one of us wins, that's the main thing. Let's do this. Oh, we got a level 7. Oh, Mike Mechanic is in here with the level 7. How's it going, bud? Oh, the trees here are going to be very tricky. Yeah, I already hit one of them. Third position, so I'm still top three. Fourth position. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. 4.2 kilometers to go. So we didn't quite pull the finish line where we wanted. I think I left a little bit too late because usually you want to try to leave right around the three second mark to really give yourself the best chance at victory or like to actually pull the finish line where you want it to go. So I would say this is like a semi-success. We got the general direction, but not the, not the favorable direction that I was looking for. Oh, it looks like a lot of the cars are on, uh, on the highway. So I'm gonna fall like straight up into last place here. <laughs> I'm already in seventh place. But as long as one of you guys wins, that's the main thing. Go, go, go. One more kilometer to go. So I only beat two drivers. <laughs> but let's see, the, the, the finish line winner is going to be any second now. Let's see who it is. Sabrovsky, all right. Yeah, that's one of us. So maybe Sabrovsky, maybe you can tell us, what were you driving? I know, I, I forget. What, I think during the race, I think you were in a higher level car. Uh, Seiko says, what a loss. Not necessarily. As long as one of you guys wins, that's the main thing. So I would still consider this is kind of like going with the level one challenge, right? And the Sabrowski, um, yeah, maybe maybe he can just tell us. Maybe somebody else was by the finish line. I'm very, I'm always, I'm definitely curious to see what kind of car you were driving. Like, uh, was it the Quattro or was it the Volvo or maybe even something else? Uh, let's see. Should I let's let's give this car away? It's not a very valuable car, but I'll give it away anybody anyway. Let's go with uh, this. If somebody ends up with a Nis with this Nissan, then uh, it's a gift for me. <laughs> All right, Nicholas says I got fourth. Very nice. All right, we're gonna do this one more time, guys. We'll do the challenge one more time, and we're gonna start at zero two. So one more attempt where we try with uh, the level two, level three challenge. I'll just type it in chat here. Challenge. I, think I spelled this. Uh, G-Man says, let's try it again. Yeah, that's going to be the goal. We're going to try to do this level two, level three challenge one more time. The last one, I don't think I, it was... We didn't pull the finish line quite where I wanted it. And maybe, I think I kind of... Um, I was a little bit slow with kind of choosing the direction that we would go. So maybe if I can do it a little bit earlier this time, then we'll have a better chance at formulating a plan uh, in advance. So we're at zero one. I'm just gonna swap my car one more time. Let's go with, let's see, what do I wanna drive? Hmm. A lot of Ferraris there. Oh, this car looks pretty cool. I'll grab this. Oh, and then we also need to do the, the million dollar giveaway. Yeah, so I'm going to have to try and do that as well. Maybe we'll end with that. We'll end the stream with the million dollar giveaway. So zero one. So get ready here, guys. Zero two is going to be the start of the same challenge again. Should be any second now. Zero two just started. Okay, I'll park it here and see what they give me here. All right. Hopefully, okay. Joining event now, joining session. All right, starting soon. 
Okay, that's a level four. It looks like a level four Lancer. I'm gonna try and go for that. And if there's one card here, it's likely that there's gonna be more. So if I don't get this one, then I'm hoping to get at least one more. Or maybe something else that's in this area. Mars says, I gotta go. Good night to everyone. Good night, Mars. And thank you very much for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it. Hopefully you had a good time. Have a good night, Mars. Uh, Thought of Asian says, what is the million dollar giveaway? It's basically where I give away one million dollar cars. And uh, yeah, so very simple. It's, it's basically, yeah, it's just like a car giveaway, right? And uh, I, I've been, I think I started doing that recently and uh, I would like to do it again on this stream. So remember guys, upgrade and race as you want, um, except for the final showdown. That's the, that's the main criteria, right? When, when you get to the final showdown, we all work together. And so the race would go towards the right. And remember, um, anybody that's part of this stream, we try not to race anybody that's part of this stream. So that way we all, oh, a Cirque is in a level eight Lamborghini. If he's doing this challenge, that's gonna be a very, Arena. that's gonna be a very Arena. tough giveaway. It gets very tough, like when you're in a level, level seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, you know, it's, you really wanna hold on to it at that point, instead of giving the car away. What do we have here? A level six Porsche. Is he gonna grab it? And who was it? It was Seiko. Okay, so Seiko actually just grabbed a level six Porsche. There's a couple of cars up this way. I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can if I can grab one of these. Maybe one of these is gonna be good. Level two Porsche. Now that would qualify, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on the Porsche. <clears throat> as far as performance goes, that's gonna be one of the worst cars to get. How about this one? Maybe this is gonna be better. A level two Carrera. That's only a little bit better. I didn't race a lot of cars in the last game. I was trying to be very careful to make sure that I didn't accidentally challenge one of you guys. So I made it to a level, a level seven. Who is this? Maybe I can challenge this guy. I don't recognize the gamer tag. Oh, I think Ch uh, Seiko, uh, Seiko is chasing me here. Okay, so uh, it's... This guy did grab this car here, and let's see if I can challenge him. All right, the race should go this way. Yep, perfect. Go across the bridge here. There's a lot of cars in this area. Look at the minimap, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least eight cars. Batati15 is also here. Glad you can make it up, bud. Yeah, there's a lot of cars back there. We're gonna get a bunch of races, I'm pretty sure. There's so many cars back there. Is this on the road? Yes, it is. Okay, I start veering towards the left. I want to avoid all these trees around here. The greenhouse here. Careful not to hit the greenhouse. Last 700 meters to go. I think I've got this though. As long as I don't crash into those trees ahead of me, I should be good to go. Last couple meters. And across the line. All right, level five. So I had a level seven before. Is there somebody else behind me? I thought I heard something. This car down there. F-150, this is tough, but I will, I will grab it. Recap78 says, hi Strider, how's it going Recap? Thanks for joining the stream, glad you can make it out for the stream bud. Right now we're doing a level two, level three challenge, so basically what we what that means is, uh, when we get into the final showdown, we have to downgrade to a level two or a level three car before we start the final showdown. And then we all work together to try to manipulate and pull the finish line in a direction of our choosing. So that's what we're doing right now. Cirque's up to a level 10 F4 uh, for Brocky. So he's, yeah, oh, he's got a, he's got an awesome, awesome car. That's gonna be a very tough uh, car to give away. Okay, we got, what do we have? A lot of cars off towards the right. Seiko got eliminated, that's too bad. Oh, the arena just shrank. G-Man's up to a level three. Let's see what this is real quick. 
Yeah, level 3 Quattro. I'm not gonna go for that yet. I think towards the end, though, I would really like to get a Quattro. A Quattro or a, a V60 Volvo, those are probably the best choices that you can go for as far as performance goes. Seiko says, had to get eliminated by level 7 because of a warehouse. Yeah, that can make it tough. Uh, that's, uh, those obstacles can definitely make it tough to win. There is one car on the bridge up ahead of me here. I don't know if it's one of you guys or not, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna head in this direction. It looks like there's more cars this way, so... As long as I can challenge one person... What is this car drop here? Level 3, okay. That's the same car that I had before. I'm kind of tempted to grab it already because then I'm kind of I'm kind of set for the final showdown. But the tough thing is surviving until the final showdown with a slow car. But that car is almost better than what I'm driving right now. So wait, this guy's somebody's actually chasing me here. Maybe I can snipe this guy here because the race is going to go back from here. As long as it's not one of you guys. No, I didn't see who it was, and I don't want to accidentally challenge one of you guys, so I'll let him go. There's somebody else towards my left as well. But it would again, again, it would just be a blind challenge, so I'm not sure. It sounds like a Bronco. Oh, it's a level 7 Bronco. I think I'm going to run for my own protection. <laughs> this F-150 is... Oh, this guy's chasing me now, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But the race would go back, and as long as I have a proper, a proper start... I would be okay with taking this race, but the ultimate goal that I have to make sure that I don't lose uh, track of is surviving until the final showdown. I still don't know who that is. Is it one of you guys? Oh, he challenged me. 2.7. Go, 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 go. I think I'm going to veer left after I get off the bridge. Oh, he's already going for it. I think the faster way, though, is just to go a little bit faster or a little bit farther down the down the highway and then make a left-hand turn. If I do win this, that'll bump me up to a level 6. I'm not sure if he meant to challenge me or not, but I'm not, I don't think he's part of the stream. So maybe he did mean to do that. Careful, careful. Okay, last 600 meters. Just watch out for these last couple of trees yet. And... Across the line we go. Alright, that was actually a pretty... I got a pretty good lead on him towards the end there. I'm, always, I'm a little bit scared of the F-150. You know, it's, it is a level 5, but it's just... Ooh! A level 6! Uh, Seiko says, Driver, if you want to avenge me, the guy to eliminate is Poison Bat and a bunch of random numbers. Okay, I think I did see him. Well, like I said, uh, some of the cars that he was upgrading to. I'll try and keep an eye out for him. Oh, yeah, Poison Bat. He just eliminated somebody else. Oh, AM4 eliminated G-Man. Oh, okay. Poison Bat is up to a level 9 car. Let's see, I think that's... I'm wondering if that's AM4 back there. AM4 got me? Yeah, I'm wondering, maybe he did a blind challenge or something like that. It's, uh... Oh, go, 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 go. I lost a lot of speed with that. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time, guys. I think I lost this. Yep, I'm pretty sure I lost this. Unless I can get some last second speed here, it's not enough, it's not enough. Guys, the challenge is officially over. I got sniped. Uh, that's too bad. What did I say? The primary goal was to make it to the final showdown and I couldn't do it. I just went down the highway too far. I knew the race was going to be going back, but I just lost too much speed in that corner. Yeah, so... I think a couple of you guys are still in there. Definitely feel free to continue the challenge if you want to. 
Look at this. This is interesting. Is there some kind of an ability for this car? It says VMAX boost or high downforce. Like what setting you want for the car? I don't even know if I've ever noticed this before. But now I'm now I'm intrigued. How do I change it? Is it no? I'm not how do I switch it to VMAX boost? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to take a picture. Okay, let's go back. No, I'm not trying to get the radio on. Turn that off. Is it this? I have no idea. Anyways, left stick. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me try this, actually. I was wondering why I couldn't figure this out. So left stick. Oh! Okay. <laughs> thanks, G-Man. Uh, thanks, Seiko. I, that was just a, a rookie moment there. I'll blame it on that. Okay, that's cool, actually. So it actually raises the the wing in the back. It's kind of like the like the Pagani. The Pagani also has wings where you can, uh, with the actually, you know, depending if you're going left or right. So now I'm in VMAX boost. I wonder how much of a difference that actually makes. But anyways, guys, we're going to do... Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another challenge or not. Maybe should we try it one more time? You got are you guys down for doing it one more time? Yes or no? Should we do the challenge one more time or should we do the, the million dollar giveaway? Let me know your thoughts in the in the comments there. Now nah, Seiko says no, Thavation says yes. Uh, Seiko's uh, Thavation says yes, Cartoon says yes. Okay. Zero six racing says yes. G Man says yes. Okay. All right. You know what? Let's do it one more time, guys. You guys want to do it? Let's do it. So we're gonna start. If you guys are all ready, then then let's start at uh, fifteen. Hopefully, it's not too soon. No, no, no. Never mind. You know what? Let's go with sixteen. We'll go with sixteen. All right. A lot of yeses. It seems like you guys are definitely in agreement. All right. Let's do it. We're gonna do it one more time, and this time I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try harder to make it to the final showdown. So 16 is going to be the start time. Let's look at the interior of this car. So look at this. I think you actually sit in the middle of this car. Interesting. And then it's got mirrors on the bottom, left and right. Very interesting. This is a pretty unique car. But I hardly ever drive in a first person view. So it always looks it, it's, it definitely looks different. I'm, I'm always just used to, the, you know, this view right here where I'm, I look behind the car. But yeah, 16, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ready. As soon as 16 rolls around, 15 just rolled around, so we have uh, probably like another 30 seconds or so. So if you want to challenge, if you want to join in the challenge, this is gonna be the last, uh, the last game here for me today, guys. So uh, let's give it one more go. 16 just rolled around. If I don't see any cars here, I'm probably gonna spawn over here again. I did, however, I did find a level six car up here before as well, so either or. Okay, joining events, joining now. Thevation says, I hope it lets me join it. Yes, for sure. Random Boy says, is this your last game? Yes, it will be. Yeah, this is gonna be the last game. And if you joined late or if you want to rewatch any of the races or challenges that we did today it's all going to be available as soon as the stream is over this is going to go up on the channel so definitely feel free to rewatch it after if you're interested uh Thavation, if you were not able to make it as long as you queued in at 16 you're still going to get the opportunity to still join the same game sometimes there's a little bit of a delay so you might still be able to queue in after all which is, that's usually why we wait a little bit at Oxmall to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to load in. I do hear a car drop. I hear music off towards my right, so there's gonna be a car drop here. I'm just not sure what it's gonna be. Wouldn't it be funny if it was a good car drop and I had to give it away, you know what? I don't think, uh, so it's a level four, okay. So it's not the, not the best then. 
I'm almost wondering if I'll be better off going for that car drop off towards the left. Because when you when you have to choose between two car drops, always go for the one that you wouldn't, or the, the one... Make sure you sacrifice the one that you can live without. Like, I could live without this, right? Wait, he didn't even grab it. It's a level four hook. <laughs> That's funny. He left the level four buggy. Yeah, I guess in his case... If you have to race me in a level four car, or if you're, or if you can just run for your life, I, I would probably have done the exact same thing. I would just try to es escape in a level one car instead of trying to get the level four buggy and then trying to race a, a Lancer afterwards. Ford Escort. Whoa. Okay, I'm way out of the arena. All right. So let's. Oh, look. There's a couple of cars coming this way already. Maybe I can race one of these guys here. I'm just gonna have to. Yeah. There's a car dropping up here. I figure there would be. Somebody found a level 9. Can I race this guy? Nope, he upgraded just in time. Oh look, there's another car drop back there though. Oh, those two guys just challenged each other. Wait, was that a... What kind of car drop was this here? Did I pass this already? A level 5 Levante. I'll definitely take that. Uh, Barack O'Mey says, Hi Strider, my son and I are huge fans. I couldn't get to join any races today, hopefully in your next stream. I appreciate you very much for coming out and joining the stream today, uh, Barack. And uh, yeah, even if you weren't able to join today, definitely. Hopefully you're able to join in the next one. And if you missed any part of the stream, the stream is going to be up on the channel as soon as the, the video is, as soon as the stream is done. It's going to go live. So uh, definitely feel free to go back and rewatch any of it. But spoiler tip, I didn't win any any final showdowns today. <laughs> today was just not my day, I guess. But uh, yeah, definitely feel free to go back and rewatch any of them. And I'm hoping to do the next live stream soon. So uh, if you weren't able to join this one, hopefully you can join the next one. Oh, and I think as far as videos, um, I'm probably going to have Mrs. Strider Z do another video this week where we're going to kind of play together and try to win the Eliminator together. So that's kind of a recent series that we started, and we're probably going to continue that with another video this week. So if you're interested in that, that's probably going to be coming this week sometime. There's a level four car right here. I'm going to challenge this guy. The race should go straight. Yes, it does. Okay. And around the trees here. Go for the gap. Random Boy says, by the way, Cirque is currently streaming if you want to come there when Strider is done. Yes, definitely. Feel free to do that. Cirque is a, he's a good uh, friend and a streamer, good Eliminator player. So if you want to join his stream afterwards, definitely feel free to do that. But I think for myself, I'm probably going to be done and uh, get out, go outside, grab some air. It's beautiful weather outside, so I want to uh, get some of that. Some of the best weather we've had all year so far. So I'm looking forward to being outside in the fresh air soon. All right, across the finish line, up to a level six. I think G-Man just beat somebody as well. Look, there's a level, is that a level one car down there? Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's grab this car first. All right, we have, oh, those two guys, they're probably gonna challenge each other, I'm pretty sure. We're right next to each other. Unless it is, Let's take a look here. I don't want to... I'm not sure if he's part of the stream or not. I'm going to challenge him. I don't recognize the gamer tag. That's a lot unfortunate though. He's, he's stuck on the, on the rock pile there. Definitely a big advantage here for me. Cod Cartoon says, I am out and that would be it for me. Okay. Yeah, definitely feel free to stick around as long as you want, but uh, whatever you do, I hope you have a great rest of your day, Cog Cartoon. If I win this, I'm going to be up to a level 7. That was as far as I got in the last challenge, so this is going to equal that. And then from there, I would just need to win three more races, and that would bump me up to a level 10. But this time, I'm going to try to... Let's see, where could the final showdown be? I think as soon as it shrinks one more time, 
we should get a pretty good idea of where the final showdown will go, where, where it's going to be, and then we can make a plan as to where we want to go for the final showdown. <clears throat> Navation says, who is the streamer is streaming on FH5 right now? So I'm streaming right now, and the other one is Cirky. So Cirky uh, Boy, if you type in S-R-K-Y, Cirky uh, Boy, you're going to see his, uh, you're going to see his channel and his live stream as well. So if you guys want to be, if you guys want to join that live stream after this one, definitely feel free to do that as well. Oh, Random Boy just put it in the chat. Yeah, his name is Cirky Boy Gaming is his YouTube channel. He's also another very good Eliminator player. Arena. Okay, so from here the races would go back. Let's see who this is. Can I challenge this guy? Oh, it's G-Man. Okay, I, I'm glad I looked twice. I don't want to accidentally challenge one of you guys. G-Man, if you come in peace, honk three times. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe don't. <laughs> uh, there's one more car back this way. What is he driving? Oh, you know what, guys? Um, we need to figure out... We need to start looking around for level two cars already, I think, at this point. Let's see. Okay, the arena is shrinking, so once it shrinks one more time, then I'm probably gonna start looking for level uh, level two and level three cars right after that. Remember guys, the main thing is not raising each other and making it to the final showdown, then we work together from there. There's some car right in front of me, the race would go back, but I don't, I don't know if I wanna race this guy though. And then he's right on the other side of the mountain, so it would be kind of a blind challenge. So I, I would have no idea who I'm racing, and I want to make sure I'm not accidentally racing one of you guys. Is it G-Man? It might be him. The race would go back from here. We have a bunch of cars off towards the right. Okay, the arena just shrank, so guys, this is where I'm going to be looking around for a level 2 and a level 3 car because it only needs to shrink one more time from here. So if you guys want to get a good level two, level three car, it's gonna to have to probably happen now. Before the only thing that's left is gonna be the Huajos. Okay, level two golf there. Somebody wants to go for that. And a level three Volvo, okay. Okay, so G-Man did just grab that and I'm gonna grab this one. And let's see what else do we have here. Uh, there's one more car way off towards the left. There's a couple of cars off towards the left over there. But I'm going to park myself over here. And let's see. So this is going to be very clear, guys. The final showdown is going to be in this area right here. And we would normally go this way, uh, northeast. And what we can do is let's try and pull it. We can either go, we can either pull it towards the south and try to go this way. Or we can try to pull it towards the northwest and go this way. You guys interested in doing uh, Northwest? We can go, we would basically go along this road and then it would be somewhere up here. Hopefully the finish line would be somewhere up here. Let's do that. Let's group up on this road right over here when the, before the final showdown starts. And then we're gonna try and pull it up this way. And then hopefully it's gonna be up here somewhere for the, for the finish line. So that's the plan. Meet here and we're gonna pull it that way. Is the arena shrinking? 12 more seconds until it shrinks. Uh, cartoon says I'm actually gonna go to sleep. It's 23 23 in South Africa, oh, yeah. but I enjoyed finally joining one of your streams. That's awesome. I hope you have the first of all uh, cartoon. Thanks for joining this stream. I'm glad you were able to make it out here and last I hope you have a good night's sleep Get ready for another new week So hold on is it gonna Is it yeah, the arena is shrinking now, and then it's going to be the final one, then it needs to shrink again. All right. I'm kind of ahead of myself here a little bit. I think I'm going to set up down by the runway, and then drive towards my destination a little bit later. There is a car down there already, though. Yeah, so he's back there. I don't really want to be getting into any races with this car, especially off-road. So I'm just kind of gonna I'm just gonna kind of stick around the perimeter. 
But remember guys, if you, you still need to um, downgrade, now is probably the time to do it because it, once this shrinks, and there's only going to be like a minute and 45 or whatever it is, two minutes before it's going to shrink one more time, and then the final showdown is going to start right after that. So Wolf Song downgraded to a level two. I think I'm going to park myself right around here for now. I think this is a good spot. We're down to the final 12. So I'll park myself right here. There's one guy on the minimap. Is he coming this way? Nope. Wait, is he? I think he is coming this way. I'm not sure if it's one of you guys or not, so I'm a little bit, a little bit apprehensive. Let's take a look. What is he driving? I'm not sure who it is. You know what, I'm gonna take the chance. Okay, okay, Lakers, all right. How's it going, Lakers? So you're in the Pajo, so you definitely qualify as well. I don't, I forget what kind of car I had last time, but when we did this in the last stream, I might have been in the Pajo. It wasn't, it wasn't a Volvo. I don't, I don't think I got a Volvo or a Quattro. The Volvo or the Quattro would probably be the two best cars to do this with. But I was definitely in a level two car. Yeah, now I remember, I don't even think I was in a level three car. But remember guys, we're gonna try and pull it northeast, southwest. We're gonna try and pull it towards the northwest. So we're gonna go down here and then try to try to pull the finish line up this way. This time I'm just gonna try to leave the arena a little bit sooner so that we can actually have a greater influence on the race direction. Last time I didn't get out of the arena until uh, it actually started. So I don't think we were able to impact it very much. We got somebody else coming this way as well. What? Lakers, did he challenge you? I think he must have. Hey, G-Man. And we got... Oh, I just got challenged as well. Arena shrinking. I'm gonna have to race this, guys. I guess I took it for granted that it would be... That it would be one of you guys. I, was, I wasn't expecting this. But here we go. If I lose this, then... It's all over. Go, 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 go! No, 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 please, please, please cancel the race! Please tell me it canceled. Yes, yes! Oh, oh man. Two, 30 seconds. I should have. That, that definitely saved me there, guys. There was no way I should have survived that. But remember guys, the plan is on. We're pulling it up this way. That's gonna be the challenge. Let's see if we, if we can manipulate the finish line. Although this Jeep knows what we're doing now. He knows exactly where we're gonna be going. So remember guys, we're, pull, we're pulling it this way. And three, two, one, go. Okay, everybody's coming this way, it looks like. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're probably going to lose to these faster level cars, but I just want to see how we do with like our own cars, though. <laughs> Why is he pushing? Uh, G-Man, that's unfortunate. It looks like you got a target on your back a little bit there. Maybe I can block him, though. So, first of all, success is we got the, we got the finish line where we wanted it, but there's a level 9 car way ahead of us here. Oh, and two, a level 8 and a level 9. Yeah, there's no way. Well, I think maybe both of these guys are going to get by me. He's right there. I'm just going to try to keep him behind me. Uh, he's just going right through me. Go, 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 go. Oh, HH, -H, how's it? He basically kept that. He must have... Welcome to the <laughs> shadowy ranks of the Illuminati. Oh, HH, -H, much, much appreciated. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm not sure if you were part of the challenge, but I'm, I'm guessing you were part of the stream if you waited for me. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. I had two fast cars coming up behind me, so I've maybe a couple more seconds and they both would have overtaken me. And this is my one and only win of the day. <laughs> like they say, you leave the best for last, right? And this is definitely it. Wow, that was a lot of fun though. G-Man, I think he was kind of put at the... Um, the level 9 Trackhawk was kind of pushing you around there a little bit. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it, hopefully it didn't uh, slow you down too much. I, was, I guess I was fortunate that I was on your right side because he was targeting the other car on the left side. 
But all things considered, guys, it's a success. I mean, I'm glad that I won, but at the end of the day, as long as one of you guys would have won this challenge, that would have made me happy. 250,000 credits as well, so leaving this on a high, that's a, that's a good amount of credits. G-Man says quality, absolutely. That, that one worked perfectly, I'll definitely say. We got the direction that we wanted and one of us was able to win, so um, that, that worked very well. And the last thing like we do is we go to, uh, we gotta give away some cars here. And I think I think the best, I think you can give away cars in the in, in the festival site, is that true, is that right? Or where did I usually do this? I know you can do it in your home, so I'm just gonna fast travel to my house here and then give away cars from there. Random Boy says, are you ending now? Yes, I'm just gonna give away a couple of million dollar cars and then we're gonna uh, end the stream. So maybe you guys can help me pick some cars to give away. Maybe I'll give away two or three one million dollar cars. David says GG's, absolutely. Omei says GG's, yes it was. Definitely a good game. And I was very, very fortunate I made it to the end. Do you guys see how close that was? Like that level nine car, he would have eliminated me if the arena hadn't canceled the race. Um, now where is this? Guys, I should know this, but for some reason I'm drawing a blank. Where do I give away cars? My festival... Do you have to travel? You know what? Maybe... Maybe you have to travel to... The barn. Like the... Where I got a car before? Maybe I need to travel there. Let's take a look. <clears throat> where is it? Where is the closest one? So, right over here. Okay, there's one right here. I'm gonna fast travel here, and then uh, I'll give away some cars in there. If you guys have some recommendations of cars, of like million dollar cars that I should give away, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if I can uh, give away some of those cars. Okay. All right. Let's see, what should we give away? So anything that's worth a million dollars, let's find out. Whoa, this car is worth 15 million dollars. The 33 Stradale, I don't know who all has one, but wow, wow, that's uh, that's quite the value. Okay, and this uh, Alfa Romeo, four million dollar car. Now, I, I do like to give away cars that I have doubles of already. It looks like I only have one of each of these cars. So I'm probably just gonna look, so like this car here, I only have one of those. No, I do have two of these cars actually. So I'm, you know what, let's do this. Let's give away this car here. It looks good and uh, I think they would really enjoy it. So let's do this. The 2018 Apollo Intenza Emozione, am I pronoun I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. I think it's Italian, right? Emozione? to anyone. So whoever gets this car, um, I hope you enjoy it. White and gold. I think it actually looks really nice. That car does. Let's go. Oh, Seiko. Yes, you're right. Um, use the filters for sorting. Let's see. Let me see if I remember how to do this. So look for... Oh, like duplicates, right? I think that's what you mean. Just look for duplicates. And then it would just show me all the cars. Yeah. Thank you, actually, very much. So I have two more of these cars. Valhalla concept car. Aston Martin. Top or bottom? Let's give away this one. And I'll attach my gamer tag. Hopefully, maybe one of you guys will get it. That would be really nice. Yeah, what else do we have? Another car that's worth a million. We're gonna give away like maybe one or two more cars. Let's take a look. Hundred thousand, a couple hundred thousand dollar cars, eighty thousand, five hundred thousand. So if I gave away two of these, that would be worth a million. How about I do that? I'm gonna give away two of these cars. That would be worth a million bucks. So that was a Corvette. Where was it? Am I past it already? B. Uh, right here. So I'll give away one more. So two of these is a million. Gamer tag. There you go. 
All right, we're gonna give away one more car. 500,000, so it would be the same thing with the beetle, but I only have two beetles. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? So these are worth 300,000 each. These are worth 100K each. Okay, so this is worth two million dollars. Well, two million thousand, well, two million credits, not dollars, but I kind of think of it as dollars. Should I do this? Give away one of these for the last one? Okay, let's do it. I only have two of these, so I'll give away one of them. Gamer tag. If somebody gets the Remac Concept 2, that's from me. So hopefully, you guys, maybe one of you guys will get it. All right, that's basically going to conclude it, guys. Um, I had a fantastic stream, or that was a lot of fun. Especially the last round, that was... I'm glad we were able to get the challenge to go the way, the way that we wanted it to, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, thank you very much. I know it was kind of a short notice. Usually when I, do the, when I do do live streams, I try to put out a post the day before. But in this case, I wasn't. I didn't do that. And a lot of you guys still were able to join, so uh, that's much appreciated. And uh, hopefully we can do another stream soon. I'm not sure if, if I can promise when the next one's going to be because it is a little bit... Um, it's kind of a busy season right now with some of the things going on, so I can't really promise if it will be Saturday or not, but um, if I can't promise anything, then hopefully, as long as you're subscribed and you have the bell notifications turned on, you will be able, you'll get the notification, then hopefully you can still join the live stream then, so, yeah, thank you everyone for joining, if you played the game with me, I really enjoyed it, if you just watched and commented, I really appreciate that as well, but, uh, that's going to be it for me. Have a great rest of your day. If it's uh, afternoon or evening or morning for you, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, hopefully uh, we see each other again soon. Thank you, guys, and I'll talk to you later.